I got the biggest pick me band. Come on, 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 hey, come on, 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 come on. Yo, 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 what up everybody? Happy Mario Monday to you. We're playing Peak, we're playing Mario Sunshine, that's right. And we've gotten pretty much all of the shine sprites except for the ones that are super annoying. We gotta get the blue coins, we gotta get the 100 coins, and there's a couple other secret ones too. I think we do with the, the weirdo old school like non-flood levels where we do get flood and we have to get red coins. Wait, who's saying what now? 
Stuff your nose with a rubber hose? Right, yeah. I, I saw Welcome Back Cotter too, but I know that's also a line from Sly Cooper. Uh, Tyler, we are gonna play Jack 3 tomorrow, which I'm going to finish pretty quickly because we're near the end, and then I'm gonna pick up and finish Sly 3 at the end. So tomorrow will be a long stream. Um, I hope to see you there. I know you like to see a lot of Sly Cooper. What up, Holden? What up, Goat Hawk? Thank y'all for being here, seriously. Uh, I guess we'll just go live on TikTok and get right into it, right? On Jack Tuesday, you better believe it. All right, let's get into it. My day's going pretty well. Um, I got a lot done. I, ju I just remembered I had to post a TikTok because that's the best thing for my TikTok algorithm is to go live and post oh, simultaneously. No, 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 no. <laughs> what up, Charlie boy? Charlie boy is here. And uh, I just posted my favorite moment of yesterday's Uncharted stream where Gellhausen told me to punch Flynn. It was really funny. <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna do on the algorithm considering somebody gets shot up in it, but um, it was really funny. If you guys don't mind going over there, leaving a comment, leaving a like, leaving a favorite, uh, share it, even just copying the link. All these things boost the algorithm, which helps me in discoverability so we can get more people into the stream so I can sustain doing this. Um, but yeah, obviously don't, don't feel obligated if you don't want to do that either. Just relax and enjoy or make fun of me, whatever floats your boat. I'll always be here, so don't talk bad about me. Oh, uh, note to self, talk bad about Charlie Boy Dog, he's always here. W Fackhausen, no, true though, true. Mm. So, <clears throat> we have to collect 100 coins. But I think the first thing we gotta do is go do the, these secret levels. This will cause a lot of great clips because I am going to rage. <laughs> this is some of the hardest parts of the game to me. When you're on a timer and you have to collect all 100 coins, should be a lot of fun. I've already downloaded my pop playlist. Yo, what up, crack out cat? What you gonna watch? Anybody got a suggestion of some weirdo stream that you, you enjoyed of mine to suggest to, um, to Tyler? Because he was asking and I'm like, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I stream so much at, at this point that it all kind of blurs together and they're all fun for me in some way. So any um, sleeper hits you have uh, recommend. I, I really like all the Mario streams. I really like when we play Mario Sunshine. I like when we play Mario Galaxy. Those are some of my favorites too. Did I get a blue coin from him? Whoa, you saved me! Thanks a bundle! Okay, that's it. No, nothing. Yo, you guys ever heard of Charlie Boy 32394? What a complete goober, right, guys? I hope he's not here. Let's talk bad about him, because I don't think he's here right now. <laughs> I heard that was Charlie Boy's 30 second, 30 second thousand attempt at a username. Me too, bro. What a goober. Go get some snacks. Perhaps a the camera. So the camera straight up is the biggest menace in Mario Sunshine. Also, some of the wonky controls. The speedrunner guy who is here watching me try and do the pachinko level and the lily pad level. He even admitted that like so much of this game is jank as hell because it was unfinished and rushed. And then feels like, um, uh, actually, it just takes the proper skill to do it, actually. I'm like, bro, even the speedrunner said it's busted. What do you mean? <laughs> um, uh, actually, you're the true bozo in all of this if you think about it. Hey, look at this. Look at this. How am I supposed to grab that blue coin when I can't even see where I'm at? I wanted to go this way. I didn't know where that was at. Okay, let's wait for the sign to come back. Yo, what up, Rye? My mom made it for me. Heartbreaking. Esteban the person, man. It's been a while, dude. How you doing? Thoughts on Skibbity Toilet. Um, my thought is... Get him out of here. You're muted for five minutes. Think, of, think on your actions and think about what you want to type in my chat next time. I'm send him to time out. I ain't dealing with no nonsense. You go to another stream for that. 
We got nonsense in here, but the fun kind. I, I ain't getting all that skibbity toilet discourse. Now, if you want to talk about J-Lo. <laughs> Yo, thank you for gifting Esteban the person a sub to the channel, Trailhawk. You truly the goat hawk for that. Katie the goat hawk up into Bishworth with three puppers, you turkeys. Let's go grab these blue coins while I'm here anyway. Mario Sunshine, let's go. You like Mario Sunshine, Cody? So would you say, what was more frustrating for you to play? Mario Sunshine or Mario Wonder? I truly wonder. You just, you just in general aren't the biggest fan of 2D Marios, right? Good to see you, by the way. Hello, Viv. How's it going? Who got muted already? I don't know. This person named Sleek Goose. I don't trust usernames that I don't recognize. They're just coming into TikTok lives, just wilding out. I'm playing Mario Sunshine. He's asking me about a toilet. Some sort of online discourse conversation, no doubt. I ain't part of all that. Pretty much all my online time is spent right here with y'all. As well as... Oh... A little bit when I'm scrolling to figure out what's popping off on the timeline. Stay in the know, because I am a boomer. Other than that, I don't like a lot of these online conversations. It ain't my it ain't my style, so we're not gonna we're not gonna engage with that anymore. Super Mario Sunshine, more like Super Mario Janitor, it's true. Super Mario Custodian is more like it. Gotta clean up this beautiful, beautiful area in the game. I wish that there really was a, a Mario Sunshine 2, though. Like, make it again, but better. You know, you have so many great ideas mixed with jank-ass gameplay. Alright, let's go do those red coins. This is, this is sure to make some clippable moments and make me rage big time. And I'm gonna go full ham on it, guys. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna tiptoe around this for fear of taking an L. We're just gonna take those L's with, with style and hopefully a little bit of grace. What do you guys say? Lap. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I mean, is Bowser Jr. introduced in Sunshine? I guess in the form that we know him as, yes. But my first introduction to Bowser Jr., I guess, was Yoshi's Island. But I guess that's that's just young Bowser. So I guess it's it's different. But yeah, this is, as we know Bowser Jr., this is where he is introduced. You are correct. We're going ham sandwich on these. And what's cool about this game is I get to play it with the GameCube controller, which is one of my favorite Nintendo controllers ever. Oh. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. The camera didn't let me see. I knew it. I knew it. Yo, what up, Carl? How's it going, dude? I thought people were crazy about this one. Never played it. Well, so this one's very polarized. They, You either love this game or you hate it with a fiery passion or you're like me where you love the really good moments and you really dislike the frustrating moments. <laughs> it's just an imperfect Mario game, but yeah, the highs are like some of the highest moments in all of 3D Mario. And yeah, it does require a lot of skill, so, but a lot of that skill is based in just complete dumb luck, like the pachinko machine. So that thing is busted as hell, bro. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow. Oh my God, why is my chat not catching up? Brandeezy's repping, the CEO of Pizza Pasta Night is repping uh, TikTok today, y'all. I love this game, but sometimes the movement can get wonky. Exactly, Myth, exactly. Okay, so like, I need to get over to that star. No, oh my God, I got so lucky. Yeah, we're on a timer for these red coins too, which is absolutely buns, G. You just got to get really good at this back jump, really. Because you don't have the long jump and you don't have the high jump. And I'm out of time. Dude, what the hell? You got to do that in record speed, dude. I hate when you have to do these levels without the flood. Oh, initially, dude, I think that those are a lot easier than this stuff, though. 
I really like these levels, actually. These are really fun, but yeah, it's very easy to get a uh, game over. And thank you for the Why follow, Jay McFleur. I'm totally wasted. <laughs> yeah, count my deaths. That, that sounds like a really fun time, especially for this game. There's going to be a lot. Spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of deaths in this one. Spoiler alert, this is going to have more deaths than Uncharted Crushing Mode. I like the Uncle Baby Billy excited for the next season. Yeah, I think it's the final season, right? Of Righteous Gemstones. This one also killed me. What up, Alex the Voice? Yeah, totally, bro. Damalkis. Damalkis. That's a name I don't recognize. How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, people, people really do love sunshine. Don't get me wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I keep missing. Yeah, I'm going to mess this one up again, too. You got to get these ones on the side super fast. I don't even know what the strategy is. I guess I can grab the star ones from this side. Anyway, I started blasting. We got 30 seconds. I so good, so I missed. All right, we got to be quick about this one. Yeah, speed running this one, you, you gotta do a lot of glitches, too. Oh my god. Darn it. Darn it! Oh, that was the last one! I don't know if I was gonna be able to make it. It's been a while. <laughs> Yo, what up, Rachel? We're playing your favorite today. How you doing, dude? What's better, Mario Sunshine 64 Odyssey or the Luigi games? What, you mean, like... Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion isn't even in the same category of genre. That's like just a straight up like puzzle game. Um, me personally, I like Odyssey. I like Odyssey the best. 64 has some really frustrating shine or um, stars. And yeah, again, like the high highs are great in Sunshine, but the, the lows are extremely low. And yeah, I'm just frustrated already. <laughs> like we're just trying to collect these eight coins and I'm already frustrated. Mostly with the camera. Alright. I, I already messed up my timing on this one. You think I can make this? I think there's a Super Mario Kaizo for Sunshine that's supposed to be insanely hard. Odyssey 64 and Sunshine in that order. Yeah, 64 and Sunshine are kind of neck and neck for me because 64 is more consistent. Um, but yeah, again, like I've been saying, ad nauseum, Sunshine's got some really high highs. I really like the soundtrack. We're playing, um, Jack 3 tomorrow, Murphy. Hey, what up, Yana? Alright, let's start with the left, because I need to go to the right there eventually anyway. That one in the bottom right corner is the worst, because at least these ones have platforms that stay underneath the red coins, whereas this one back here, it moves. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to get used to where the camera is going to be. Okay. Wish me luck. It's going to be a tough one. No, I don't think this is going to happen. We're at 19 seconds still. As soon as I get good with the camera, it's Jover. <laughs> it's so tough. I don't want to make my way over there. I guess if I just land on the green spot and do a high jump, a high back jump, that should be sufficient. Wait, this is a Jack 3. We're playing it tomorrow, Murphy. I already told you once. I told you a hundred thousand times, Murphy. It's Jack Tuesday for a reason, isn't it? But yeah, I if you can play this game with a GameCube controller, the adapter works if you have the 3D All-Stars. Um, that's the, definitely the preferred way of playing, I think. It just feels good to hit that giant green A button for the jumps. Yo, thank you for the follow, Ash, Ashes Ashes. Ashes to Ashes. Jump up, dingus. This last one. This is the most time so I've mad. had so far. Oh my god. Okay. 
No! I thought I was landing directly on it! What the hell? The depth perception is so bad, dude. I thought I was landing perfectly on it. What the hell? It's the bumpers that do it for me. So clicky. Yeah, dude. It just feels good controlling. Except the camera controlling with the C stick ain't my favorite. That's that's one thing I will knock about the GameCube. My PS4 Lost Frontier glitched out 25%. Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Dude, another reason why Jack and the Lost Frontier is a complete L. Dude, are you serious? After they remastered it or whatever the, for the PS4, that's so buns, G. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it just as rough as I remember it, Zuhair? Because I seriously haven't played it since the game came out. I swear. I call you call it a camera issue. I call it a skill issue, Budzoid. All right, eight seconds. It's Jover. It's so over. One. I don't for it, but will I fall off the star? Now I gotta make it over there. <laughs> I got it the very last second. 0.05 seconds left. And watch, I'm probably gonna die right here anyway. I'm almost out of water. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get the timing right on this. Oh, it's right there. We're so close to greatness. <laughs> That's gonna be like one of the easier ones too, guys. Woo! We dove for that red coin and we got it. <laughs> Hell yes, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but there we go. Easy dub, first try, easy dub. Imagine taking more than one try to get that one. Pfft, couldn't be me. I am simply too good of a speedrunner. All right, guys, should we go for the next secret red coins or should I try to go for the 100 coins in Bianco Hills? I'll leave it up to you while I read the chat and catch up. Yo, thank you for the dubs. First try, let's go. Couldn't be me, bro. Couldn't be me. Let's pull up TikTok and manipulate the algorithm, shall we? Let's manipulate the algorithm by tapping the screen for my alt account. Don't report me for fake engagement, guys. Secret tunnel? Secret tunnel! Chrome Heart says 100. Secret coins, secret coins. Okay. So we got a couple for secret coins. I'll go for the 100 after this. Whoa, hey, yo. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Ever have that problem, Mace, when you're tapping the screen as much as you do and it just all of a sudden goes kaput? Yeah, me neither. All right. Secret coins it is. I think that there's another secret in Bianco Hills. Could be wrong. The Mario design is the best one, and that is facts. Are you talking about because he rolls up his red... He rolls up his sleeves in this one? I do like that part. Secret of the dirty like. Ugh, so dirty. Yo, what up, Nick? Shout out to a poppin' subscriber over on TikTok. How you doing, dude? Where are you in the Dragon Ball saga, my dude? Yep, I think the remaster is broken, and dude, yeah, it's rough, very stiff. Yeah, dude, I knew as soon as I played that game, and I can't believe I even finished it. I think I remember being mad at myself for finishing it, where I was like, why did I even play this? Just because I'm such a Jack and Daxter fan, I guess. I am so cucked, guys. Um, Lady just tooted. Lady's me, for real. Okay, so we got to get the secret is over there. I believe And we got to ride a lily pad I think Yeah, we got to ride a lily pad Hello Just the short sleeves that make it so much better. I mean this this Arguably is the Mario that took the most chances, which I respect it for. But I think also is because they were like, we just need a Mario game for our GameCube. We didn't plan anything out. Quick, make us something. God. Jump up. 
Damn lily pad levels, I'm getting PTSD again. Yee! Oh goodness. Okay, don't hit that. I think that we want the hover nozzle for this. This is gonna be another red coin one. This is gonna be a tough one. I had to play Precursor Legacy to cleanse my soul. <laughs> Face's phone has an indent from all the tapping. <laughs> Uh, at least it starts you with full water. I was worried that I was gonna stick with the same water that I started with. Okay. At least we can get an extra life each time we do this run. Dude, yeah, doing this part where the cube flips without flood. Such a pain in my tuchus. Alright, we're just gonna run go for it. At least you get flood for this part. Oh my god, I missed the coin! Let me get this extra life. Yeah, it's Jover. I'm gonna miss the timer. Darn it. Okay, so you gotta get these two coins on the way up, like on your first try, otherwise it is super Jover for you. Mario is a cutie pie, Butter Billy. He's the cutiest pie. Come on, block, show up already. Does it not respawn? In no way, in no way. Okay, here it comes. Let me just practice, because we're not gonna make it this time, but let me practice at least getting this red coin. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're resetting. Yeah, Odyssey. Yeah, I forgot Odyssey existed. Yeah, dude, Odyssey's got, he's got great design too. And all the different outfits you can wear. That's what's so cool about Odyssey. But he's so cool. Y'all are gonna love this from an L standpoint alone. Perfect, perfect game to play on Mario Monday for so all much. those good L's you love to enjoy so much. Try this again. There's the coin. There's an extra life. Please. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So far, so good. Only a couple more. I think we can do this. All right, one in the middle, one on the right. Let's go for the one on the right first. Thirty seconds. I'm going for it. Oh, no, bad idea. That was it, dude. But I had four seconds, so I got nervous. I was like, damn, dude. Sunshine does give you shades if you get the 120 stars at the end. Also, 120 starring uh, Sunshine is arguably the most difficult just because of how jank it is when having to get all the blue coins, have to get all the secret shine sprites. Like, it's not as cut and dry as some of the other Marios. It's a little bit more obtuse in its collectathon nature. Oh my god. What I get for not looking at the damn screen. Alright, let's reset. The, this music is gonna get grading. We're gonna have to definitely get 100 coins after this one. So maybe if I start with the left red coin and get the one in the bottom right next, so I'm not on such a grind with the timer. It's just very loosey-goosey. 
like i can't explain it but like in mario odyssey the controls feel very tight and it feels like all of your mistakes are your own you know whereas in sunshine it feels like some of it is just out of your control oh my god i don't know how i survived that There we go. Okay. 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 Let's start with the f one straight ahead. Right. Okay. Go. Don't fall off the edge. I hate when the camera pans back. You have been promoted. You are now one of my elite employees. Dude, it's all about perfecting that back jump, dude. If you don't got the back jump down, this game is gonna be hard, just saying. Woo, chat, it was all your fault. I was looking at the chat, that's right. It is all your fault. What up, Tasu? How you doing, dude? Welcome in, everybody. This is a crazy Mario Monday. I don't know about you. All right, let's get the 100 coins. I think the best one to get the 100 coins on is episode 8 for most of these. W Gamer Instincts. <laughs> well, I had to do a little trial and error first, but yeah. Eventually, it was W Gamer Instincts. Good to have you here, Trailhawk. I feel like it's been a bit. I know you've been stopping in every once in a while, but... You know, you've had your birthday shenanigans. I hope that y'all had a great birthday weekend. Cody, Connor, Doughboy, uh, Katie the Goat Hawk. We had a lot of people have birthdays this week, didn't we? <clears throat> Who's next on the Poppin' Fam birthday list, huh? All right, what's the best way to get coins? I know that getting Yoshi and then having Yoshi eat the bees is also a good way of getting coins. Oh, there's a blue coin right there that I missed. Those count as like five, I think. I'm playing on the Switch. Oh, you're playing the bad one. A lot of March birthdays. Marcha. Oops. I think if we blow these guys up, they give you like three coins, right? This is kind of a weird like first level for a Mario game too. It's a bit more complex than your typical first level of a, a 3D Mario game. I'll be in the Poconos this weekend for my B-Day. Oh my gosh, it's Holden's B-Day too? Oh my gosh. Send us your P.O. Box, Holden. I gotta send you a gift for all that you've done for us here. Mainly the vibes. I played through the game on GameCube recently. Nice, I have the GameCube version too. I just don't like setting up the whole damn thing. This, this version plays just fine for me on the Switch, honestly. I'm playing on it, and they updated it so you can play it on a GameCube controller too. Hell yeah, dude, congrats. Little Poconos trip. That sounds awesome. W hold it. Very extremely common hold a W. Any coins up cheer? No. Alright, there's some wad of coins over there on the on the tight ropes. Did anybody see? I think it was bananas that the Yoshi needed. Did I get the classic GameCube launch screen? No, that is one thing that is, I was sorely missing. Oh, banana. Yeah, I think it's bananas that Yoshi wants. Let's go get him those bananas. 
I think eating these bees gives us a lot of coins. A lot of coinage, red coinage. I like how Mario grunts when he's carrying stuff. So angry. Started Bowser's Fury today, heard lots of good things about it. Dude, Bowser's Fury is one of my favorite Mario games. My only gripe is that it's so short, you can beat it all in one sitting, which I have many times. <laughs> it's great. No, Bowser's Fury is awesome. It blends like 3D world gameplay with the perspective of 3D Mario games like this so well. It makes me just wonder why they haven't made more. It's so awesome. Cause it's like 3D World has like the 2D Mario mechanics, right? But yeah, it just doesn't have that camera right behind Mario um, that you get in Bowser's Fury. It's so sweet. And it has that whole levels are like all just continuous. Like there's no hub world to go into the next world or whatever. Get these guys out of the tree throwing stuff at us. And these coins disappear fast, dude. This also has a dynamic soundtrack a la Jack 2 when you get on Yoshi, doesn't it? Don't you just love it? There's no more bees. Not the bees. Okay, so there's a bunch of coins over there. Bunch of coins over cheer. Lots of coins to be had. Go get some snacks. How do I get off Yoshi? The carbonated soda. There we go. The X button. Yo, what up, Doughboy? I was just wishing all of our uh, birthday people. A happy uh, birthday weekend. I hope you had a good birthday weekend, Doughboy. I know you said stuff's been tough lately for you, but I hope at least you felt very loved and celebrated for being the W guy that you are. B movie, yeah, like jazz. <laughs> Blue like jazz. What Trail said. I noticed the camera right away. Yeah, dude, it's so sweet. Bowser's Fury is such a good game, and you get to play some 3D World. That, that was a great packaging. 3D World was so slept on. Okay, I need to go get some fruit for Yoshi, unless I don't really need Yoshi anymore. No, the lid. Might not. The lid. 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 Hey, what up, Zeno? Yo, Doughboy, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to the channel, my dude. Very grateful for that. Thank you for the support. Hope y'all have been having a good time in the streams, honestly. That is first and foremost my priority, and I, I really do hope you are. If not, I gotta either rethink the content or rethink the, uh, the streams in general. So please, please, always looking for feedback. I am open to criticism. But if you make me bad, I'll bad you. Can't you do spin spray in the flower circles to get a bunch of coins at once? Probably. I'm just trying to see which, uh, which coins I can get with Yoshi real fast. Can you do a spin with Yoshi? No. We gotta fringe our way up quite a bit, don't we? I know where that is. I think. Ah, Yoshi, you're so slow. <laughs> Can confirm he will ban, just ask Mace. She was putting W's in the chat and I was like, thank you for the dubs, Mace. And she's like, that's not for you. <laughs> So I tried to time her out as a joke, but then I ended up banning her. <laughs> it was an accident. 
I know that still shocks me, Tyler. And that not only would you rather watch me than Queso and Jinxie, but the fact that you keep saying it. That's crazy, bro. W advertising. All 13 people over on TikTok are going to be quite amazed and go, Oh God, this guy's got to be such a W streamer. I got to tune in. I got to subscribe. I got to see what kind of bozo content he's putting out. Yo, when, when, yeah, bro is the glaze king. True. <laughs> this roasts me like everybody else does, bro. <laughs> it's completely sufficient. And I... Get on the ropes as Yoshi? No, I cannot. All right, so we're a bit limited in our movement with Yoshi, so we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye. Bye bye Yoshi. Everybody say bye bye Yoshi. Wahoo! We'll go back and get him if we need him, but I doubt it. Coinage here. Doesn't do nothing, does it? All right, well, at least there's coins up here we can grab. But I just want to, like, ground pound them or something. Ah, that didn't work. All right, so we can't collect. Well, I guess we can collect. How much do is a red coin? No, a red coin doesn't count for anything in your coin count. Yikes, my dudes. Oh no! See, the depth perception is also a bit wonky for me. I once was a chat. Yo, thank you for the follow, Will Hendo. I get banned in chat all the time. No, you don't, Nick. Oh yeah, did you answer by chance? My favorite is Mario touches lava and literally screams, Mamma Mia! <laughs> Mario's got some of the, he's got one of the best personalities ever. Like, Luigi's got the Riz, right? But Mario's got that, like, goofy dad vibe, you know? Which I, I strive for. Goofy barbecue dad vibe. That's why he's rocking the mustache all the time. Yo, the second they release a Mario game where he doesn't have a mustache, that's when the fans rage. Hey, yo, I'm jumping! Uh, excuse me, sir. I definitely jumped there. Go ahead. You won't. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I said you won't, and he did. No. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. You stupid son. Oh, come on. You know I just want to grab all those coins. Why didn't you grab onto the grate? He said, I bet. <laughs> Yo, what up, Doodle Lev? <laughs> yes, I have. It's going to give me something to watch while I'm on deployment. Yo, watching my VODs for your form of entertainment couldn't be me, bro. But thank you. <laughs> I will say thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you like the content, dude. <laughs> oh, Freaking content machine gun over here. Boopada, boopada, boopada. Pumping it out every day. Yo, when Gelhausen gets here, let him know that I, I, my TikTok features his comment and him telling me to, <laughs> to punch uh, Flynn. That was so funny yesterday. Seems like the puppy likes the sound of his voice. Yeah, lady doesn't leave my side. She's got a little bit of separation anxiety, and I am her security blanket. As much as that makes me happy to be that person for her, it also breaks my heart, because I know that she still has anxiety and deep-seated trauma that is hard for her to get over, so... Double-edged sword, really. Can I get up there? No, I need that super boosty to get up there. I suppose I could just... Grab those coins on the water. Boop, 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 boop. Yo, they could have made it so where like you just swim along the water and you grab the coin, but they were like, no, nope, just make it just high enough to where they have to jump. Thank you, Shigeru Miyamoto. Hi, Alex. Yeah, you answered the Dragon Ball question earlier. Let me scroll up.
I'm sorry, I missed it. There's a lot here, actually. Yeah, we got a lot of people talking in the chat for only 13 people being here. Y'all are yappers. You guys call me a yapper and a flapper. Just look at you. I got the receipts. Mods, pull up the TikTok chat. Show them the receipts. Show them how much they yap. I sent it to him and tagged him in a comment. Aw, oh, thank you, Trailhawk. Thank you, dude. Y'all are too goaded. Yap, yap, yap. Yap, 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 yap. You call yourself a yapper, yet you haven't answered my very basic question of what is this game? Oh, there's a blue coin right there. What up, Rachel? Yapping ballsy. Yapping, yapping, all that yapping. Come get me. The lady is directly behind me right now. Why don't you get into your bed, stinker? Sometimes she likes the hardwood floor. Sometimes I think it's because it is warm today, so maybe it's possibly because she's trying to stay cool. I will say I was late to the stream yesterday, so I was watching Optic Gaming play FaZe and COD. <gasps> FaZe Gaming, my favorite 360 no scopers in the world. Oh my gosh. How dare you be late to my stream? I'm gonna have to issue a demerit. 69, yo, we got 69 coins. Why didn't anybody say anything? W's in the chat for 69 coins, just saying. Just saying. Why do I gotta be the one to point this out? Y'all are slacking. I'm yapping and y'all be slacking. W. <laughs> I've got a degree in yaponomics. Well, yaponomics would dictate I would know when to yap and when not to, and I don't think I know that. I think I'm just always in yap mode. Alright. Who can... Can I land on the clouds? I just can't shoot water through them, I presume. Alright, these are where the big bongo coins are. Please, bro, why? Why wouldn't you just drop directly? Okay, let's go get the super jetpack. Where else can we get some coins? We only need 30 more. Japanese, then. Yeah, that's right. I'm fluid in Japanese. Mods, put me in timeout. <laughs> I got a degree in pasta. Oh, we know, Brandeasy. Oh, we know it, Brandeasy. Oh, come on. There we go. There you go. W, Nick. Reminding me that you can... Do the spinner rooney move to get some coinage. Mods, chop the cheese and stand on it. What's my favorite game? Kingdom Hearts, bro. You already know. Kingdom Hearts is literally the best game that ever was. You already know, bro. 1.5 Remix Collector's Edition Birth by Sleep. Mods, clip it and send it to Mace. Congrats, Nick. You didn't get banned today. <laughs> Thank you, Epic Gamer, for following the channel, although I'm pretty sure you are already following the channel. We're not getting the alerts. Let me make sure my alerts are up and running. Yeah, they should be up and running just fine. Hmm. Maybe they put in a fail safe so people couldn't spam uh, following and unfollowing. Kingdom Hearts beats that Mario game easily. Okay, so what game you said yesterday that Kingdom Hearts beats Uncharted, which yeah, that's certainly a take. Uh, and now you're saying Kingdom Hearts beats Mario Sunshine. Um, what game is better than Kingdom Hearts in your opinion? That's my question. Because it sounds like you just think Kingdom Hearts is the best game ever, which is totally fine. I'm not triggered by that just because I think it's a Arbo game. Um, to each their own, right? Red Dead 1 and 2? Ah, uh, that's a good, pretty good take. Red Dead 1 and 2 are pretty amazing. Um, okay. Well, at least you got a little bit of diversity in your opinion. Usually the people who like Kingdom Hearts, it really is like their number one, which, yeah, I don't know. Have fun with that, I guess. <laughs> Hmm. 
Mace, come over here and get your Kingdom Hearts stand. Yeah, dude, TG is a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. Funny, uh, funny story, guys. The reason, the whole reason TG is here in my live stream <laughs> is because I like got on some Kingdom Hearts posts and all I posted was like Kingdom Hearts is trash because anytime I see a Kingdom Hearts post on my feed, I have to, it's the rule. Because I, I like getting the Kingdom Hearts fandom very upset. They're very easy to trigger. <laughs> Just look at Mace. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> And then he replied and he was like, you don't need to talk crap about something because you don't like it, you know? And then and then he looked at my page and he's like, you got good content. You got a follower, but don't talk crap about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and I was like, you're not going to like my lives then. <laughs> we, Kingdom Hearts catches at least one stray per live. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for being open minded and checking out my content, bro. I will say thank you for that. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's uh, it's the other level right down, right down the, the block. Jenny from the block. Look at that. I love the little details like that. It's like dire, dire docks or whatever down there. I get a blue coin for washing off this jabroni. We're so close. If I die. All right. Did that earn us any coinage? Uh, not really. Did it? I don't even remember. Okay. <laughs> Go do the spinneroonies on these other flowers, I guess. Try to get these. We only need 11 more coins, y'all. If I did my math correctly, and I never do my math correctly. Come on, spin around. There you go. Your mother was a broken five more junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. <laughs> hey, what up, Havix? How you doing, Ben? Oh, Nick, if you wouldn't mind for my my illiterate ass answering again, um, where are you in Dragon Ball? I gotta know. Is it up there? I have ox hard hands. Darn it. I have ox. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Almost out of water. Not anymore. W jump. Picking Kingdom Hearts over Uncharted and Mario Sunshine, though, is wild. Could not be me. Let's go. <laughs> Guess what I mean, guys? Am I gonna watch Dragon Ball Daima? Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe. I still need to catch up on Super. I haven't watched it since Goku Black Saga. What's your favorite Lego game? Well, I can't speak on it because I've never beaten a single Lego game. <laughs> but I did really enjoy the... Uh, I really liked the prequel Star Wars and the original series Star Wars Lego game for the little bit that I did play of that. Brancy about one dish away from turning into pasta. <laughs> Wait, we already got this star, didn't we? Yeah, we already got that one, but it still sounds like we haven't. Isn't that weird? Okay, um, so we got the red coins. We got the 100 coin star. I think that we're good on Bianco Hills, right? Uh, I think there's 20 blue coins in each level, so there's still four blue coins that we're missing. Um, we'll go back and get the blue. Uh, blue coins we save for last. That's that's like probably my least favorite part of Mario Sunshine, if I'm being quite real. <laughs> Suppose you need blue coins, don't you? Here's, oh uh, yeah, here's ten. Give me, give me a sun shine sprite. Yo, you know we need these shine sprites to like save the world, right? And you're just like selling them like heroin over here. What the hell? Grandeezy about one dish away from turning into pasta. That's what my dad used to say. He's like, you don't watch out. You're going to turn into a chicken finger. <laughs> Classic dad joke. Yo, thank you, Katie, for the donut and the heart me over on TikTok, dude. 
Thanks for lighting up the chat over on TikTok. You see that it's doing quite well on the algo side, so thank you. I can't drop my prices that low, darn you. Okay. If I sell you, if I sell you a shine sprite for eight blue coins, not 10, tomorrow I'm gonna be out of business. I can't do that. That's the downside, it has tons of filler. It's the downside, but it's also the upside. You know what I mean? Like some of the filler episodes I like better than the main episodes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, What do you think we should do, guys? I still haven't cleaned off that bell, what an L. Okay, let's go clean off that bell. I've probably 100%ed sunshine like five times in my life, and each time it's always been kind of a chore, <laughs> as much as I love the game. <laughs> now I'm sounding like a Kingdom Hearts fan. The game is amazing. It's 10 out of 10, except for this one part. This one part is kind of buds. Yo, Doughboy, thank you for the cheering of a thousand bits, bro. Thank you so much, my dude. I've missed my answer twice. I've missed your answer twice now. Yeah, forgive me. I'm sorry. I got a little bit. I got a couple things going on right Nick. Right now, Nick. I'll uh, I'll check in with you here in a second. Let me clean off this bell first. I wish that it was like on Twitch where I can click your username and then I can just see everything that you've said, just you. But we're on TikTok. You know what they say? It's TikTok. How do I get underneath there? Do I have to take a manhole cover? How do I shoot underneath that? Can't be as bad as Naruto One Piece. I'm still powering through filler. Goku is working on Muscle Tower in the snowy place. No, I like all the filler in that in that particular time period. No, I like I like Dragon Ball filler so much. I can just sit in Dragon Ball Universe forever, honestly. There we go. Jump up. Get that shine sprite, you poser. Thank you for- Oh yeah, I forgot you can pin comments on TikTok now. Dude, ever so sh surely. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Don't call me Shirley, but- TikTok is becoming more and more like Twitch every day, which is a good thing because Twitch has already figured all this stuff out. So the Gohan filler in DBZ is good. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like when Gohan discovers all those like orphans or whatever, that's a good filler episode because that was a lot of growth for Gohan because he was realizing that, you know, like not everybody has a mother and like he should count himself lucky. And so like little things like that that are completely taken out in Kai you know, I, I like that they whittle it down in Kai, but also, you know, that stuff is important. Also, like, on the way to Namek, that, like, filler episode where they discover that, like, group of... Where is that? That group of, uh, basically humans who are, like, looking for a new planet because Frieza destroyed theirs. That's a good filler because it gets you, like, scared about Frieza. You're like, oh, man, this guy... This guy, Frieza, is, is serious business. He just destroyed these guys' planet, and they're, like, very clearly scared of him, thinking that, you know, everybody's working with Frieza. I heard that the One Piece filler is good, too. Filler can be good, guys. You know what doesn't really have any filler? Attack on Titan. Pretty much every episode in Attack on Titan is necessary. Are we going to play Kakarot in the future again? If you want to see it... The last time we played Kakarot, it was kind of a low turnout, um, but I am more than willing to keep playing it. We're just about to enter the Boo Saga and the Great Saiyaman Saga. I love that stuff. Are you freaking kidding me, bruh? But yeah, I'm usually gauging what I play based on the engagement, guys. All right, should we go? Oh, there's a blue bird right there, which means there's a blue coin. Oh! Oh, it was so close. <laughs> I'll feel a circle back around. I'm a chuckster. <laughs> Wait, we already took that out with Yoshi. There's the blue bird. Hey there, Mr. Blue. Where'd it go? A gift for you to say Kingdom Hearts is good. Guys, 
don't believe the rumors kingdom hearts is actually really good it's a very properly hyped video game it is very underrated please please give me a gift now i need it so bad bro please i said it was good please <laughs> I never w ended up watching Attack on Titan, but it was so good when I was watching. Rachel, you gotta watch it now that it's finished. It's on Hulu in its entirety, and it is simply too good. Wait, Peanut Park. What is the best level to collect the... Oh, actually, we gotta do the secrets. Oh, the Yoshi go around secret. Oh, that one's gonna be annoying. The beach cannon secret. <laughs> yeah, you found yourself a best friend there, Mace. <laughs> Budokai? Yeah, I love Budokai. I was never good at the game, but I really like it. I love Kakarot, but I definitely understand. I, I love Kakarot, too. I'd love to keep playing it. You know what I was uh, bummed about was that Swag wasn't there because Swag has never seen Dragon Ball, so he was basically getting, like, from Saiyan arc onto Frieza. Like, he was basically, like, getting a you know quick rundown of it, and he was really liking it. But he wasn't there for this, the Cell games, so I'm a bit bummed that he wasn't there, but that was my like main reason for wanting to keep going too, was because I wanted Swag to be introduced to the Dragon Ball universe, which he seemed to be digging. Come on, dude. There we go. Let me throw the bomb, dude. Yo, a galaxy? Say what? Nick, thank you for the galaxy, dude. What is this, your like fourth galaxy you sent the channel, dude? Thank you. W's in the chat for Nick. Instead of that W gift, that's a big bongo gift. Thank you, dude. Nick is becoming our our strongest TikTok supporter in, in recent times. How many more times do you think Scoot has beaten Pikmin 4? <laughs> more times? Because he said he's beaten it eight times, so he's got to be on like his baker's dozen time at least. He's one of our elite employees. What's your favorite level in Super Mario Sunshine? I like Noki Noki Bay. I don't know, man. That's a tough one. There's a lot of really good levels. Noki Noki Bay! Here. Ignore me! on that terra firma that yoshi egg terra firma baby run run uh oh wait where are they there's more where are they is it up here God, I hate these bouncies. I'm going, dude. I'm going. <gasps> the last one is right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, dude, I thought it was going to be another clutch like last time. <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> Pinda comment. It's so weird that I can't see it on my desktop, but I can see it over on my phone. Okay, let me open up my phone. Isn't that weird? When you pin a comment, I should be able to see it on my desktop. What is your favorite level in Super Mario Sunshine? Yeah, I just answered that. I think Noki Noki Bay is my favorite. L Clock app. Yeah, it's just the, the desktop um, version isn't quite up to snuff yet is the problem. Okay, come on, camera. I'm gonna be extra quick about this. Alright, and then the last two are up here. Get up, 20 seconds. All right, we got this, dude. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, 
Hell yes, dude! Slipping and sliding away. Let's get it. That's a fun... That was a really fun one. So far, that was my favorite of the red coins and the secret levels. Yo, what up, Connor? Hope you had a great birthday weekend, bro. A lava level without the jetpack is the most hated level, probably. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. The pachinko level is easily my most hated level of this whole game. I, I wish that you didn't have to do that what to 100% it. Up, friends? Happy Monday. How is everyone? Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memories is worth playing? Doubt it. Cat, <laughs> mm. did you see me get him there? <laughs> Happy Monday! Happy Mario Monday to you, Connor! W's in the chat for Connor, y'all. I think it's been nine times. It's been a while since my last Pikmin run. There he is! Swag, I was just talking about how people were asking if I was going to play Kakarot more, and I was like, I was bummed that Swag missed the last Kakarot one because this was your introduction into the game. Were you already here when I was talking about that? Sorry, I've been busy at the wrong times for a while recently. Ah, no, it's totally fine, Swag. Oh, no, there he is. Can I please be a mod? You are a mod. What are you talking about? Not that I remember specifics right now, but I thought there was a fair amount of filler in Attack on Titan. Um, I don't remember. There might be, but I don't know. Maybe in like season one and two, there's a whole lot. But I don't feel like there was. But just because I feel like there wasn't, doesn't mean that there wasn't. Okay, so we need a, um, what is that? Some kind of ballad or something or other. The best is when he wants the fruit that's literally right there. I know where that is. No! Wrong button! Hurry, Mario! It's gonna disappear! Get up! Here we go. Thank you so much. Never played Kingdom Hearts. Man, you are missing out on such a W game, W vibes, W soundtrack, W characters. <laughs> Not. Uh, yeah, let's grab this fruit. Give it to the Yoshi. Yo, thank you for the follow, Juice Box Art. Eat some ice for that burn. <laughs> The mod comment was a joke about the one guy I made. Oh yeah, the guy who just came in randomly was like, can I please be a mod, please, please, please? And I'm like, it's not gonna happen, dude. He's like, please, please, just let me be a mod, please. I was like, no. I think you need to be an orange Yoshi or the secret. Am I gonna play Final Fantasy on the stream? I mean, if I get to it, I don't know. I've never been a huge Final Fantasy guy. I've, the only Final Fantasies I've played are six. That's the one with Kefka, right? I've played six, seven, not not the uh, the remake of seven, the original seven. Um, 13, which was the very first Final Fantasy that I ever beat. <laughs> I know, what an L, right? And that's about it, but I've heard good things. Um, RPGs aren't typically my thing. My favorite RPG is made by one of the Final Fantasy guys. It's a little game, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called Chrono Trigger. Now that's, now that is a game. Now that is what I call video games. It's also made by my boy Akira Toriyama. Rest in peace, King. Is there any more red coins on the right there? Aren't they all just beyond? No idea. Figure it out as we go. Okay. Okay. Do I remember this level? It took me days to understand what I was supposed to do. Let's see if I missed any over here. Nope. All right. Show me luck. Now this is pod racing. They put that icy block there just to troll me. It's all a big conspiracy against me. I can't see. Only a couple more. I think I missed some back there. 
One right there, and there's one right there. Okay. Still missing one, though. Oh, it's right at the top there. <gasps> oh! Okay, 23 seconds. I can do this. No! The depth perception got me again! Dude, why? That was it. And it's Jover. Okay, I just gotta prioritize the red coins over here a bit better next time. Darn it! It was right at the top of that block, too. The remakes look great. I know, they do, and that's what's kind of enticed me towards them. Especially the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That actually looks a lot like something I would like. Okay, get that one real fast. Can't rush these ones. Can't see. I thought I was landing on that perfectly. Come on now. I'm telling you, the depth perception is so wild. Fun stream so far, Pop. Thank you. Yeah, of course, easy how to yeah. guy. Thank you for the nice message. Going from stupid down. Yes, I'm kind of a dingus. I don't know if you noticed. Okay. I don't know if you've been here long, but I'm kind of a dingus bozo. Let's get it. Going for the blue boy. The fact that you can't, like, move the camera to look directly below you is also part of the issue. There we go. That one I landed. Yo, the steel drum going brazy right now. Oh, I didn't think I was making that. Alright, alright, we got this. I should probably start for that one that I had problems with to start with, because the rest were kind of easy to get. Yeah, we beat Uncharted 2 yesterday. It was a fun time. I love me some Uncharted 2. All right, let's go for that top one first. Let's go for the top guy. All right. Hey, look. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. All right, let's get this top. Hot boy. Darn it. It's still up there, though. Right? Isn't it? Is that what I'm looking at? It is up there. There we go. Damn, dude. Got me scared. Jump over the shine sprite, land on the brick. Right? Two more. Gotta play it safe at this point. Sheesh! Okay. Now we gotta get the damn thing. <laughs> this game, dude, is pretty funny. Pretty funny how much it puts you through. Good camera. You just gotta get used to not being able to see, dude. <laughs> That's the best advice I can give. I'm so hyped for Rift Apart. Yeah, dude, you and me both. Let's get it. Let's get, especially when the game just killing you for no reason. Had us all like, what in the world is going on? Oh, you mean, yeah. When, for whatever reason, the game wasn't triggering that I beat all the enemies and it was just giving me death screen for just trying to move on. Yeah, that was, that was really annoying. All right, we can go get the hundred coins on that one later. Let's go do some more red coin hunting. Should have been doing the worlds in order. Yeah, we're going to do Uncharted 3 after I play Rift Apart. Yo, what up, Christian? I remember Christian popped his head in for a little bit. And he's like, it's so weird seeing Pops play a shooter game. I've played lots of shooter games in my life. For a while, it was all I was playing. 
Looper Surf and Safari. That was such a tough one. Secret of Rico Tower. Bro, I'm so happy I'm finally home after like five days. I actually game for once. What are you going to play, Doughboy? Did you stream t at all today? Usually you stream on Mondays, but I know you've been burnt, so I'd understand if you wanted just some time for yourself. I get that, homie. Yo, I remember this level it took me days to understand. Yeah, this game, it's kind of crazy when I think about how I actually 100% of this when I was a little shitter kid. Which makes me think that I was probably better at games when I was a shitter kid. What's the best way to get up there? And I get, I could probably get a red hover nozzle to jump up there, but then I would have to do... Do I, then I have to do the secret level with the super jump hover nozzle? Is that how it works? I need that blue coin. There's the red hover nozzle. All kids are shitters. <laughs> and again, though, like there are things that I did when I was like really young, like 100%ing Mario Sunshine, where I'm like, how did I do that? <laughs> like this game is a pain to 100%. I remember being very disappointed with the result because all you get is like this silly postcard. I love how they brought this level back in Mario Galaxy 2. Remember that? Remember these? Yo, we got a lot of people over on Twitch. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks for support the strip like you do. We get these consistent big numbers. Always good for the stream. Always good for the future. It's about the future. <clears throat> it's about the future. It's about the future. It's about the future. <gasps> okay, two coins over here. Of course. No, thank you. Seriously, Havix. You've been such a staunch supporter for quite some time now, and I gotta say a thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, so far so good. Alright. Three more. Dang, dude. Oh, for sure, that was like a perfect jump there. Got it. Okay, hopefully I can make it towards the end. I hope I my momentum isn't crap right here. Yep, it is. <gasps> w save. Come on, camera, please. What a save. What a save it was. What a save. First try. Let's go. Come on now. Give me my money. These levels were forever challenging when I was young playing these games. They're, they're challenging still, Theodore. <laughs> I've thought about it. My reflexes might have been faster, but I don't think I was better. Yeah, I definitely didn't think about things the same way I do now, but I do think my reaction time and reflexes were better for sure. I don't I didn't think about games the way I do now. They were a bit more open-ended in my mind, whereas now they're much more like, okay, you, you only have a certain amount of options here, which is correct in programming. Damn chicken island. <laughs> Arise, chicken. I beat Kingdom Hearts when I was a kid. Yeah, that's shocking to me. <laughs> it's shocking that any kid would get through Kingdom Hearts, but then again, there was that, like, kind of held hostage feeling back in the day where it's like, okay, you got this game. Like, <laughs> you gotta sit down and beat it now. Red coins on the water. Was that the only secret in Rico Harbor? Let's do um, the 100 coin challenge then. Especially in the early 2000s, true. Kingdom Hearts was, 2 is better, Pops. Yeah, I know. I heard it many times. Heard it many times when I was trying the first one. I had some chicken strips. Bro, you're going to turn into a chicken strip if you don't watch out. Eat so many chicken strips, you're gonna turn into a chicken strip. I know because that's what my dad used to say. Just play the second already, geez. I played Shadow of the Colossus. It was before I had an audience, so yeah, we're gonna have to play it again. I love that game. That game's janky as hell, 
but I still love it. You know what I mean? Like the controls in it are so janky, but I still love it. Kingdom Hearts 2, I told everybody that if I made partner and we got an average of 75 viewers on Twitch side so play Kingdom Hearts 2. I say this because I know it's never going to happen, so I never have to play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Set unattainable goals. Coinage. There's got to be an easy way to get coins with Yoshi. There's just got to, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's one. I bet there's a bunch of coins on the on the water I can use with the blooper, blooper uh, jet ski, right? Can I blooper jet ski? Oh, it's not available on this level. But we do. Oh, wait, why don't I have the gray one? Doesn't this give us basically the jet ski boost? You cannot use it. It is only a hologram. Why not, bro? I can use that one in there. All right, let's get the jet ski. Oh, yeah. For sure. When your parents spent $50 on the game, you begged for it. It's like all you have to play. No, I know, dude. That was partially what got me wanting to beat Jack 2. I was like, dude, I asked for the game for my birthday. I am really enjoying it, but part of it is like, yeah, no, dude, this is this is the game. <laughs> I got two games. I'm not going to be able to get another game for a couple months. I got to beat it. And I went back and forth between Jack 2 and Ratchet 2. And I banned Mace for talking about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Absolutely. If anybody talks about Kingdom Hearts, just ban them outright. That's what I say. No, <laughs> don't let them let them talk. <laughs> No, no, no. I kid, I kid. Okay, there's a lot of coins right here. Oh, and a blue coin. <gasps> Got it. If you beat Kingdom Hearts as a little twerp kid, I can understand liking the game as much as you do from a, a Stockholm Syndrome perspective. <laughs> you don't understand. I was stuck with that damn game and I had to learn the power of friendship to beat it. I had to, knew, I had to know when to talk to Merlin and why. I wore out my Jack 3 disc. I had to get a new one from Walmart. <laughs> I remember getting... Alright, boomer moment. I remember getting Jack 3 at Circuit City. I remember because I, I kind of came late to the game with Jack 2. And I got it, and I played it the same year the Jack 3 came out. So I was, like, stunned when I had just beat Jack 2, and I was obsessed with it. And then, short time later, Jack 3 was right there on the shelf. And I was like, yes! I got Jack 1 at Circuit City. Dude, I, I didn't get Jack 1 until later, because Jack 1, Jack and Daxter was really tough to come by. I remember it was always out at like Hollywood Video and Blockbuster because people would, you know, for games like that that were rare, they would just steal them. You know, they would rent it and they'd be like, oh, I lost it. And they would just pay however much the game costs to have like basically a used copy. Um, it was a really shicey thing to do, but people did it all the time, especially for games like Jack and Daxter that were really hard to come by. So like I had a hard time even renting it, but that's where I first played it was I rented it. That's a blast from the past. Yo, what up, Megan? Circuit City, baby. All right, so... Yeah, there ain't no more Circuit Cities anymore. I'll tell you what. I guess I'll just get the red nozzle. The noodles? This is where the one blue coin was. The other one's over there by the clock tower. I'm coming to get you, blue coin, bish. <laughs> What's the fastest way to get to the other one? What if I pull one of these? One of these, huh? I want one of these? No, that's still gonna be too slow. Probably my best option, though. Taking the sewer vent can take too long. What if? What if? Here, I have an idea. What if we attacked the spray paint from a top floor, huh? Huh? I could just do that. That'd be fast, but let's see if I can do it from a higher ground. Stay away from me, ghosty. Oh! That was perfect timing. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just try 
to go for it. Yeah. So you can't take it away. You can't wipe it away if you're too far away. Maybe you can. Okay, let's just take... Ah! Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Get up, you stupid... Got it! Let's get it! <laughs> Circuit City was the spot back in the day. Yeah, Circuit City gave Best Buy a run for its money back in the day. I used to love going to Circuit City whenever my dad needed something. Let's go peruse the game aisle. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Okay. We need 70 more coins. What's the fastest way to get coins? Probably scaling this... Scaffolding. A lot of coins over there. Whoops. Can I salvage this? Nope. I was so ass at this game. I'm ass at this game. <laughs> this game's tough. This game's uh, definitely one of the harder 3D Marios. For sure. We just need the best way to find these coins. There's a bunch of coins over there. By that crack. Used to get my PS2 games from the used game bin. I used to get all my games from Game Crazy, which was attached to Hollywood Video. That was like GameStop before GameStop. Where well, I guess GameStop was around before. They had a different name. But Game Crazy was awesome. It, like for your membership, you actually got a good um, deal for used games. They would knock off like 15 to 20 bucks if you were a member. It was pretty sweet. I got a lot of used games from them. Oh, a bunch of coins here. Get it. Hastings. Yes, I do remember Hastings. Does anybody remember? GameStop used to have a different name. I can't remember what it was. Maybe that's what it was called. Hastings? I don't remember. Bunch of coins over there. I got a bunch of my games from Blockbuster. And I just forgot to return them. You bastard! No, I actually have a Blockbuster uh, case of Mega Man X8 still on me. <laughs> I think that's also how I got Shaolin Monks because I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was just like, I'm just going to take this Best Buy coffee. So I was just knocking the people who did that at Best Buy, but I definitely did do that. Google says Babbage. That's what it was called. That's what it was called. EB Games was a competitor. EB Games is where I got my PS2. PS2s were so hard to come by, guys. Especially the that like Christmas that they came out. And I remember um, my dad got one. And I was like, where did you get this? These are impossible to come by. And he's like, EB Games, baby. Was it EB Games or KB Toys? Nah, I can't remember. It was one of those. It was one of those something be toys or games spray the suns on the cranes okay didn't do nothing no, I probably gotta get closer <gasps> no I thought I was going into first person mode and I started moving before Got my N64 at Kmart. I got my Game Boy Advance at Toys R Us. Come on, bro. They said they were all out of stock. And I was like, come on, bro. Please, I know you got one or two back there. And he was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I was like, you son of a bitch. I just saw you turn down like seven people. It's not doing anything, taking out the suns on the crane. Sons of Anarchy. Go get these coins over. Cheer. Oh. 
Got my Game Boy Advance from Toys R Us. First game was Rayman. Nice. My first game was Super Mario Advanced, which I think was actually like the Super Mario 2. Super Mario 2 version for the Game Boy Advance. But my most played Game Boy Advance game besides the Pokemon games was probably Mega Man Zero. I love those games so much. Dude, I can't just look up. A bunch of coins right there and a blue coin. Let's get it. What? No, I wanted to save. Damn you. EB Games and GameStop Verge, they were competitors beforehand. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't remember, like, GameStop really being a thing until much later for me. I definitely got my, uh, my 3DS from GameStop and the Gen 4 Pokemon. I, was, I remember like kind of feeling like I was tapped out of Pokemon, but then my little cousins had Gen 4. They had uh, Diamond and Pearl, and I ended up getting Platinum. And I loved Gen 4. I, like That's what got me back into Pokemon. I was kind of done after Gen 3. I feel like I was you know, too old to be playing Pokemon, but then I was like, Pokemon's still fun. <laughs> What was the video game by mail service? Gamefly. I had Gamefly too. Gamefly was a great service. That's, I was able to play so many games that I never wanted to buy because of Gamefly. I loved that. I loved that service. And if you really liked the game, you could just like keep the game at a discounted price. That's how I got my Dishonored game was uh, through Gamefly. Like I was like, I'll try out this Dishonored game and it ended up being sweet as hell. I still think they do Gamefly. It's like a digital version now where you can like rent games digitally. It's really weird. I think it's still around. Yeah, it's just the, the only problem is like physical media is so like janky nowadays and it's highly coveted considering how everything is sort of digital now. I remember being so mad that like Redbox, you guys, I don't know if you guys ever Redboxed a game, but I, I only did it a few times. And I was so pissed because the few times I did do it, people would just like print out a paper, like barcode disc basically to put back in. And they would, you know, basically steal the games doing that. And I remember being burned many times getting a, a, a red box game. That pissed me off. Any coins down up here? Nope. Bunch of coins right there though. W landing. Hey now, okay, we only got 30 coins left. Where could I get some coinage? Find the red coinage. The worst is like collecting as many coins as you can and then finding out that like you can't even fringe your way up to 100 coins on a level. That was the worst part of this game too. There's some coins there I could grab. Luckily, I lived in a small town. Redbox was lit where I lived. That's how I played Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite was such a fun game. I remember playing Last of Us and Bioshock Infinite on my PS3 ad nauseum. All right, where else can I get some coinage? I guess down in the little sewer vents. Could be Yoshi and eat some enemies. Coinage. There's some. Okay, only 20 coins away. Mountain. There's four right there. Yeah, I'll come back. Come back and get those ones in the fountain. I can't do a back jump.
Oh, you, why didn't you land on that, you dingus? There's, um, there's actually like a physical media rental shop near me. And every once in a while, Sarah and I will go rent a movie because there's something, there's something nice about like committing, <laughs> you know, like going to see a box art of a movie and then committing to be like, we're going to watch this movie because when you have so many options, especially in digital format, you become so indecisive and you spend so much time browsing, you know, you spend almost more time browsing than you do watching the movie sometimes. Then again, we're old folks for watching movies. It's been sh shuddy studies have shown shuddies have shown that 25 and under people don't even really watch movies anymore. <laughs> they barely watch TV shows. Isn't that sad? God, I love going to the movies. I feel like I'm one of the few though. 100 coin shine. Let's get it. Don't let them steal your shine. I have six binders worth of DVDs plus a hundred loose. <laughs> All right, we're we're fringing our way up here. The fun part of this part of the game is you get to just kind of like exist in Mario Sunshine world. You know, you don't have any like crazy task. You're just kind of in the worlds. Bumping around trying to get as many coins as you can. Okay, I think that we got Pretty much all of those. I gotta get blue coins. We'll do that last. Um, where else can we go? We can go to the hotel. I don't really like going to the hotel, honestly. I could go hunt for blue coins in um, Corona 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 Island or whatever it's called on the way to Bowser. Could do that. One of my favorite places to go and explore is retro gaming stores. Unfortunately, we don't have any in NorCal. That's a bummer. Could go find fruit for these pinata people, whatever they're called. What do you want? Hello? You want to work for me? You need to bring me some fruit. Pineapples, three of them. Shoot them in this basket, idiot. Pineapples, pineapple. There's some pineapple. No, those aren't pineapples. Yeah, these are pineapple. Never mind. Sorry. What are these fruit called again, guys? The ones that cats hate. I can never remember their name. I don't know if I've ever had one. I still have a VCR to watch VHSs. Couldn't be me, bro. Ah, I thought it would ricochet in. Damn, dude, Mario's got an arm on him. Gonna shoot it from the side. From downtown. Oh my god. People company didn't want their HDMI cables, so I wired up the VCR. And there's one. I love the little steel drum sting. What movie did you go see? Dune 2? Mods, Lisan Al Gaib. Cats hate cucumbers. Cats hate a lot of things. But somebody was trying to. Durians, that's what it's called. Somebody was showing me, like. They are called durians. Yeah, like YouTube videos or something of cats reacting to, like, licking a durian, and they're just like. <laughs> they hate them. <laughs> that's what they're called. One Life. I've never heard of that movie. We saw Problemista the other day, which was really good. I don't know if it's worth going to the movies or, but it was definitely worth a watch. Very weird and funny and poignant. Oh, come on. Tilda Swinton and that guy from Los Spookies on HBO. It was pretty good. Get in there. Come on. I went to go see Guardians 3 and Mario movie right after spent a whole day there. <laughs> nice, dude. Love me the double feature. I didn't Barbenheimer it, though. You gonna give me a blue coin or what? I like Sweetums? Got one blue coin for all that. The durian fruit is the biggest pain. It's true. The way it ricochets and everything is a big pain. Okay. 
We go to Corona Island and get some blue coins because I'm pretty sure I'm definitely missing some blue coins over there. What do you guys think? What you think, loves? <laughs> For three! <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, the theater we go to has a bar as well. You can order alcohol. I remember being my mind being blown the first time I, I did that, but it's pretty common now. Especially in California. Darn you. Damn, dude. It takes away a lot of health, those spikes, huh? I guess typically the spikes would one-shot kill you in Mario, so it makes sense. Dang. Play it safe, otherwise I think we got to start from the beginning. Oh! <laughs> that was a close one. in here extra life give me that it's true they overcharge but you know what i'm such a this is so, so lame guys i'm sorry i'm sorry this is very lame of me but i'm such a movie guy and i love supporting the theater and i know that's where they make all their money and i'm like if i have to pay an arm and a leg for some concessions i will i want the movies to stay open it is sad You've been to the movie theaters lately. It's sad to see where movie theaters are headed. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Physics of this don't even make sense. There's a blue coin over there. There's a blue coin over there. Oh, God. It's Jover for me. I can't get another boat now. I forget. You can't touch anything, can you? If I just start all the way from the beginning of the level. I'm low-key surprised theaters are staying afloat, especially with movies being direct to stream for pay. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's a bummer. Love going to the theater. You know, going to see Dune 2, our theater was pretty full, and that felt like going to see a movie back in the heyday. That was nice. And that movie felt a lot like seeing, like, Star Wars for the first time. It was epic. If you get a chance to go see a movie in the theaters, guys, highly recommend seeing Dune 2. You don't even need to see the first one to enjoy it, I promise. You'll want to go back and watch the first one. It was my favorite as a kid. My dad put M&Ms in the popcorn. It's weirdly fire. I love putting candy in the popcorn. My dad would do that with uh, Raisinets. He'd put Raisinets in the popcorn. And if you've ever seen the beginning of Whiplash, the dad does that with Miles Teller. He's like, Put it in, put it in, put it all in. And I was like watching that movie with somebody who was like, what? Chocolate and popcorn? I was like, bro, clearly you've never gotten an order from Popcornopolis. <laughs> it's very fire. Is that the dude from Wonka? Yes, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. His breakout role was in Call Me By Your Name, right? Which was like a, a movie with Army Hammer. Ooh about two bisexual boys discovering their love for each other over a summer. A romantical summer. It was pretty okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Please, 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 please. Okay, don't even know what to do here. I don't know how to thread the needle on this. Get the 
popcorn bucket. Absolutely, and we usually finish the popcorn. <laughs> we usually finish the popcorn before the movie starts. Extra butter. A little bit more butter. A little bit more butter. The fact that they put so many blue coins around here is... Like, you gotta do this a lot. You mess it up. Wish me luck. No worries, still put. You don't ever need to apologize. You're here. That's all that matters now. <sighs> Dude, putting the blue coins on the edges like this is such a troll. What a troll. I think we'll save those for last. Best movie theater experience would have been going to Lord of the Rings, stocking up on so much candy when I realized how long the movie was. I remember going to see Lord of the Rings, loving it, and when they, in Fellowship, when they get to Lothlorien, when they come to Cape Blanchett's lair, my dad's like, Jesus, it's the never-ending movie! He, like, says full-throated. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Dad, and I wish it will never end. <laughs> I hope it never ends. He thought like the movie would end after Moria. He's like, that's gotta be it. Dude, I went at my AMC when we went to go see the Beyonce movie. I wanted a black coffee, and they like almost didn't even know what to do. They were like, uh, what? <laughs> I was like, can I just get a black coffee? You guys serve coffee, right? And they're like, yeah, but you don't want like a latte or like cream or anything. I was like, no, just black coffee. And they're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, it's literally the easiest thing ever. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> I eventually got it. Don't worry. 53 year old activities. True. Why do you have to call me out like that? It's true. What you just said was so controversial yet brave. And I applaud you for that, Rachel. I'm actually going to see Star Wars movie on May 3rd, May the 4th, 20 hours and 22 minutes. Jeez Louise, enjoy that. I'm sure it's going to smell fantastic in that theater. <gasps> it's ruined the whole darn thing. That's what I get. That's karma. That's karma, baby. I've seen the old Star Wars in the theater. Nothing beats original Star Wars, though, which are very hard to come by. Most versions of Star Wars now are the, like, 1996 remasters. I like the originals so much better. When it was very clear that Han Solo, they didn't add that second shot in for Greedo, and it was just Han Solo shooting Greedo. There was no debate of who shot first. It was just Han Solo just shooting Greedo in the original. No dance number in Return of the Jedi. Like a Looney Tunes dance number. Totally takes away the the icky feeling that you get from Jabba's lair. <laughs> Makes it like good old fun time before he feeds the Twi'lek to the Rancor. What are you doing? What are you doing? 8 p.m. to 4.30 the next day. Couldn't be me, bro, but I hope you enjoy. My Star Wars days are kind of over. It's sad. Most I've enjoyed Star Wars recently was playing Jedi Survivor. That was actually a lot of fun. Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> we almost got all these blue coins as I've been yapping. Of course, they're doing a May the 4th. So they're gonna play this, the prequels, the originals, and the sequel movies, huh? You like the sequel movies? I feel like those are like the most universally hated. Started out with promise, and then the next two are just... We got them, we got all the blue coins here, let's go! Right? I think we got all the blue coins here now. That can be goofy with it. Hell yeah, bro. I don't know if I've ever done that. Yeah, I think we got them all. Let's get it. Should we fight Bowser just for the yucks? Is he even here anymore? He's gotta be, right? 
It was a Corona Corona. I only had half of it. Yikes. Oh, I took damage for that. Nice. The patience it took to get those is astounding. I was in it. I was in the Yapitar state, guys. <laughs> you know how I get in my Yapitar state. Sometimes I do my best, my best work yapping. Come on! Except right now. I'm about to run out of jet fuel. All right. My favorite Star Wars is for sure Empire Strikes Back. Ah, yes, a man of taste. That to me is the only like perfect Star Wars movie. I, I can find grievances with all the rest. Because you're not a true Star Wars fan until you hate the IP. That's how it works. Whenever somebody's cockeyed and optimistic about Star Wars and likes everything they put out, I'm like, ah, oh, my sweet summer child. I remember when I used to be that way. <laughs> Let's fight him just for funsies. Dan Dory issue. <laughs> w Pikmin reference, Lapis. So prequels through... See, I think that's... If you're trying to watch Star Wars for the first time... I think starting with the prequels is a terrible idea. But if you've already seen them all, then yeah, watch them in order. Mario, you son of a bitch! Oh no, he's shooting missiles at me, guys. Thank I'm gonna so use much. my super butt blast. My super butt brombo blast. Mario. Look at Peach just chilling. Yo, use your Super Kamehameha Radiant Peach Blast on him, dude. What are you doing? Oh, cool. I clipped through the floor. Why is the prequel's bad idea first in your mind? Okay, well, from my personal experience, thank you for the follow, Lapis, by the way. Um, I am, except for Revenge of the Sith, I am a prequel hater. I apologize. Um, I like I, I can't really use that argument of like being an old guy being blinded by nostalgia of the originals even though the originals were the first ones that I watched because prequels came out when I was a kid and you know I did like them as a kid but going back and watching them oh my god terrible um, I'm getting all over the place here sorry so here's a bet here's a better reason <laughs> I had a friend, a dear friend of mine, who had never seen any Star Wars before, and I said, we should watch Star Wars, and so we watched the originals, and she loved them. And then we tried watching the prequels, and she, like, fell asleep during the pod racing, and she was very confused as to what was going on, who was who, why we should care, all that stuff. And then I realized that, to a newcomer, the prequels are just, like, you gotta care about Darth, but you gotta have like a relationship almost like with Darth Vader and everything for that for you to care if you're not like a nerd Right, like my friend wasn't really a nerd So I think that a lot of what goes on in the prequels You're just not gonna care if you're not into the universe like a hardcore nerd is you know what I mean? The story's just kind of meh if you just take it at face value But if you're watching for the first time the original movies still hold up just story-wise and character-wise alone, I think. Stupid son of a beast. Darn. Yeah, I'm close to death here. Yee-hoo! Almost out of water. Jump! What? What? Oh my god, I'm such a bozo. It's been a while. I got mad and quit. That's why I never beat Bowser every time I run through the floor. I need to just be a bit more patient. The Yapitar state isn't saving me from this one. 
What's funny is we already beat this part. <laughs> I'm just I'm just doing this for funsies. Oh my god. Need to do yeah, my back jump a bit more. Over the fire. That's what we gotta do. I wasn't jumping over the fire. There we go. Woo! Good way to avoid the bullet bishes too. Awesome. L depth perception. One of my friends loves the sequels but hates the prequels. Interesting. Interesting. And to me, the originals are the best. And yeah, upon rewatching them, I just think Empire is perfect. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about Jedi. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about New Hope, but there is a lot to like as well. Just jump directly up. Don't try to go too far. Never made it this far as a kid. I get that. The game was tough. Alright, only two more. Through it. Right. Oh! Oh my gosh. Almost didn't make that. Oh, about to get hit again. We'll fall off. Bowser, let me get it over your fire, bro. Please. I'm almost out of water. My last shot. Better make it count. I think that's it. We did it! Huzzah! <clears throat> Tell me what you think about Jar Jar Binks, Loki. <laughs> if you slide on your belly the second you climb up, you will avoid his fire. Oh, interesting. Annoy. <laughs> Oh, Mario. Perfect time. I got to use the bathroom. Enjoy the cutscene without my yapping. Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... Yo, fun fact. I wanna fight that Mario again. This is the first Mario game with voice acting. A royal Koopaline is as... Bowser's voice is wild, yo. <laughs> I wasn't here if anyone asked. Don't worry, I won't tell your grandpa and granny. What up, Alyssa? How did your stream go earlier? You were popping off from what I saw. No. You even had Fio in there calling me a bozo. 
having a spa day? They're having a spaghetti day? Yo, shout out to Satoru Iwata. Rip, dude. Miss that guy. Not sure why so many people hate this game, because it's wonky and unfinished. Thank you so much. Like, I love it. But I can recognize that it is like even we had a speedrunner in there while I was doing in, in the chat while I was doing the pachinko machine. And even he was like, the game is wonky and unfinished. But that's partially why people love it so much. What do I think of Jar Jar? Um, he's not my favorite character. He was obviously mod he was obviously uh, made for a younger audience who I don't even think they liked him. However, the backlash that that actor got and what any actor gets for their role in a Star Wars movie is unwarranted. Like, I will forever hate the Star Wars community and fandom for the way they've treated John Boyega, the guy who played Jar Jar, Jake Lloyd, um, the girl who played Rose Tico. Like, they were just actors doing a role that was asked of them. Even Hayden, and everybody's on board with Hayden Christensen, but people, he got a lot of hate when that movie came out. Like, it is so stupid that you associate so much of your personality to the point where you're like making threats against an actor for playing a role. So I don't like to bash Jar Jar because that actor, I don't know if you know this, but he would like, he, he, just look it up. It was really bad. He really went through it, and it's not okay. They did that to Hayden, too. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, the fandom going after the actors because they weren't happy about it, like, it, it pisses me off so much. Happy Monday to you, Alyssa. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, yeah, like, Jar Jar wasn't for me. I remember, like, ripping on him when the game, when the movie first came out. But, like, the vitriol against that actor it makes me so sad because that actor was like you know that that was the guy from like the police academy movies and the guy who did like the funny sounds with his voice and like space balls and all these different roles like that guy is crazy talented and just because he did jar jar he's like he's not working anymore just because he doesn't want to deal with the headache it's so sad i hate when that happens with movies and tv shows when they play a bad guy yeah like the actress who played cersei in game of thrones she's had people like throw stuff at her and I'm like, dude, how stupid are you to think that that actress is just Cersei Lannister? Like, are you are you for real? Like, are you are you that stupid? I'm sorry to use such harsh language, but that like stuff like that just makes me so mad. It's crazy behavior. It's true, Rachel. It's nefarious. <laughs> it's nefarious. Eating eggs, that many eggs in the middle of the night is nefarious behavior. Who's my favorite Star Wars character? Probably Obi-Wan. I love Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan, and I love Alec Guinness's Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Orlando. Nefarious. Um, Shadow Mario, Secret of the Village Underside. Oh, that one's tough. Any other secrets? Nah, it's the only secret one. Let's go get it, baby. This one's hard to get to because you need to have Yoshi, I think. Count Dooku. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. How do you feel after downing like 40 eggs? 40 eggs? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> 40 eggs. That's easy. That's just your typical Christmas in the Pop and Loch Ness household. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Um, yeah, the aftermath wasn't the best. <laughs> but... They sure were delicious going down, right? All right, I need, what fruit was it? Like a pear, something? One thousand eggs. That's how I felt. <laughs> That's how I felt after downing 50 eggs. <laughs> Bryce's actor from 13 Reasons Why I got so many death threats. Yeah, like, I just don't like that. I don't like when people blend fiction with reality and start, like, getting mad at actors for playing a role. You know, it's... Like, when I think about it too much, it gets me really upset, so I don't, I don't want to really talk about it anymore. But you already get where I'm coming from, right? It's just not right. Like, you. 
at, at the same time, I will say, <clears throat> like Ryan Johnson did a lot of like really subversive things, right? And he knew that he was doing it. And that's one thing. If you're gonna do something that's gonna sort of change the status quo or kind of change the formula, that's one thing. Go ahead, whatever, face the consequences. But then when you start trolling fans online like he did on Twitter, I was like, okay, well, you're just like, you're making the lives of your actors and everybody who are facing the backlash worse. Like you're exacerbating the problem. You think that trolling these goober Star Wars fans is a good idea? Like, yeah, they're goobers. Nobody argues that. But his response was was poor. And I, I'm surprised he didn't have like a media or a publicist person telling him like, hey, maybe don't do that if you're heading the new Star Wars movie. Whoops. People getting typecast? People get typecast all the time. What do you mean? That's just, that's the nature of casting. That's why I like shows like Fargo because actors get the ability to play characters they normally never would. Let's see, secret, let's try it again. Yeah, I know, you said you like Kenobi, Doughboy. I think I tried to watch the first episode and I started, you know, like, scrolling on my phone. <laughs> I just, I just, I feel so bad. I just don't care about Star Wars anymore. I heard, okay. Um, I heard that, What's what's it called? Andor? I heard Andor was really good. Maybe I'll use Andor to get back into it. The Bryce hate was horrible. People genuinely cannot make the connection that he's an actor. Yeah, and that, that frustrates me. They did that. Yeah, they did that with Game of Thrones as well, and many others. The actor who played Tuco. One time, he got kicked out of like a coffee shop because the guy's like, I don't like gangbangers in my in my coffee shop. I don't allow gangbangers. He's like, yeah, I'm not a gangbanger, bro. I'm an actor. I played one on a TV show, you weirdo. Piss me off. Is it this fruit again? I don't even remember. What's up? You want to tell this story? Put that shirt on, just come tell. So, yeah, I can't say that language on stream, but basically, Sarah knows the guy who played the grape... the grape this guy? I don't know how else to skirt around this, I'm sorry. From Shawshank? And, like, he still gets, like assaulted and hate from people in in the real world like somebody like a lady attacked him with her purse like hitting him in an elevator once because she's like don't ever touch anybody again it's like dude i'm an actor i'm an actor tight 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 yeah exactly you get it but just like i don't know it just makes me really take inventory of like people's capacity to critically think it's like do you are you serious right now literally blending somebody playing a character with reality no movies aren't real right they're not like documentaries <laughs> Some movies are documentaries, but the ones with like space lasers in them and stuff and um, space wizards, they are not. Where is this place? Where is the secret? Am I coming up to it? Oh yeah, there it is. Stuff like that is why I hate the general public. You and me both, Rachel. Like I don't I don't like to reduce people to their base, you know, their lesser base forms and selves, but stuff like that gets me twisted. <laughs> 
Are you serious? Oh, it's the Chuckster level. No, no, not the Chucksters. No, how many lives do we have? Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. I can't believe it. I came to the Chuckster level to get eight red coins. I'm a Chuckster. Let me chuck you up there, bro. The this was one of those things where the last, like, I hate the Chuckster levels, but the last time I did this, it actually wasn't as bad. Can I just, like, jump over there, too? Can I just flood over there? No, I'm a Chuckster. I don't even know where I gotta stop him. Here? Higher and higher. Chuck me. Oh no, it's bad angle. Oh, I hit the truckster level so much. looking to get off stream we got another at least 50 minutes to go for my stream minimum it depends it depends on how we're pop we're, we seem to be doing pretty well today thank y'all for being here people are always going to get typecasted though that's that's an inevitability there's nothing you can do about that sometimes it's good like Jack Black getting typecasted, it's a good thing. He's really good at what, what he does, you know? Chuck me, Chuckster. Don't hold back. <laughs> and I missed my bro. I hate this one. I hate the Chuckster level so much. We might have to come back. This is the worst. This is the worst. He's doing a 24 hour stream. I heard I will never do a 24 hour stream. Let it be known. The most I'll ever go is 12 hours. That's some degenerate-ish, man. I don't I don't know how anybody can be even entertaining for 24 hours. I don't even think that's a thing. I think it's just like hang out with me for 24 hours type thing. It's just not my style. Gotta get a good angle. No, I'm a chuckster. I know that. Any further, it would have been bad. <laughs> I can't believe they even made this. They even made a hunt eight red coins on the Chuckster level. All right, last one. Wait, where is the the last few? Oh God, are they over there? Where are they? Oh, <gasps> they're over there. What? Okay, now I know. Okay, this one's this one's doable. It's not the worst. It's not the best though either. The fact that if I get a game over and I have to do the whole Yoshi thing over again, that's what makes it hard too, though. This is sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like Galaxy, huh? So Galaxy took a lot of notes from levels like this to make their levels. No, this is still sunshine. You can tell because he has the flood jet uh, jetpack on his back, Alyssa. I believe. <laughs> no, she played a little bit of um, sunshine. I remember she played sunshine on her stream. He was like, it's tough. And I'm like, yeah, dude, it is. <laughs> Sunshine is one of the hardest Marios, I would say. Shut me, bro. No, bad angle again. <gasps> Sign was going to save me. It's so tough. These damn Chucksters. I started it. I want to get through it. It's more of a game. I'd rather play on my downtime. It is. Alyssa, this is. 
easily one of the hardest Mario games, I would say. For stuff like this, too. Like, this is just ridiculous. You have to talk at the Chuckster at the right angle. And whatever angle you decide to talk to him at is what angle he'll throw angle he'll throw you at. Like, this is a little too to the right. But it worked. And this one. This one I have to wait for him to come back and I have to kind of angle it to the right. Right about here should be good. Yeah, that was perfect. And he's got to go all the way here to the end. Chuck me! I remember this game frustrating me and I only played for three hours. Exactly. Exactly. Alright, let's go get the other ones over here. I don't even know how, dude. Depth perception is gonna kill me here. Oh my god, how? Twenty seconds. Will this guy chuck me if I? Oh, he's gonna chuck me the wrong way. Yep. I don't even know what to do here, guys. If we get a game over, I might just move on and go to a different one. This one's super hard. Oh my god, I cannot wait for a thousand year door. You guys, every time you bring it up, you guys get me more and more excited. Thank you so much. Yo, thank you for the follow, Alyssa Travato. This will be better for my time. To the right. He knew as soon as you talk to him, you're like it lines you up where you're gonna get thrown, and you know immediately. You're like, yeah, no, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work. Um, yeah, I played. So the only three Paper Mario's I played were the original three, 64, GameCube, and then the Wii one. The Wii one's super fun, but it's it's the first one that deviated from the original RPG formula that they established. And I think it I think it is, from what I've seen, the best one of the non-RPG element ones. <sighs> to the right. This one's very forgiving, actually. Come on, grab it. Turn around. Turn around, you hoser. Two to the right. Stop. Just throw me now. Hopefully it's not too far and it's too far to the left. Is June 2 worth the watch pop thinking of watching it thinking face? Absolutely. It is one of my favorite movies I've seen this year. <laughs> I just restarted Mario Sunshine and it's so frustrating. Thanks for the live stream. Yeah, of course, Alyssa. We're getting all the all the jabroni stars out of the way, the shine sprites out of the way. This has got to be one of my least favorite levels of the whole game. Pachinko machine, the lily pad, the chucksters, the watermelon festival. There's a couple levels in this game that are just rage inducing. I think it's too far. Too far to the right. <gasps> no! It was so good! Why did he bounce back? All right, thank God. I, I'll have to come back and do that one later. That one is so frustrating. Why don't you just fly to avoid getting chucked? I don't think I can fly that far. Maybe I can. Maybe I hadn't considered it because I have a smooth brain. I don't know. Why don't you? Origami ki King was not the vibe. Origami Salami. Yeah, dude. Not my style. Okay, let's... I think there's another secret. No, we did those two secrets. So we can either do a hundred coin star. Oh, oh, let's go do Rico Harbor or whatever. Noki Bay, Noki Noki Bay. These ones have some pretty fun secrets in them, I think. 
Hold it, Shadow Mario, the shell's secret. Let's do this one. Yeah, the watermelon festival. Just try not to let those, I forget what they're called, but then launch the watermelon so you have to start all over is so tough. And not letting it fall. Yeah, it's a frustrating one. Sorry. Oh, Master Mario, you've become tied to our destiny, I'm afraid. A pathway to another world is above us in a fair land. You must get up there. I apologize for involving you in all of this. Farewell! I really like the soundtrack of, of this one. This is one of my favorite soundtracks in Sunshine. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Like, you have to get up there to the secret, right? But as far as things you have to do to get to the stage goes, this is one of my favorite ones. It's just fun to do every time. My least favorite world. This one? Nah, I, I think the hotel is my least favorite. I like this one. Do, 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 do. Du, 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 du. I find the best angle here. <laughs> I could just launch myself off of this and hover over there. Thank you so much. I love how he has the same Mario. Yahoo! Is the one from uh, 64. Yo, thank you for the follow, saying sexy bonus. This one. I remember this one. All right, now what is the red coin challenge of this one? I really like the OG music, too, of this one. Of all the secret levels. Alright, eight red coins. Let's get it. Okay. Hate when the camera does that. Okay. It's up there. Oh, there's one right there too. Lovely. Don't you love the placement of that one? Maybe we'll get that one last. I just get it now. Yikes. Couple more. Two more. One right here and one at the end of this log, I presume. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. 16 seconds. 12. Alright. So bad. Whoa, I hate when the camera does that. This is quite fast, isn't it? Hell yeah. First try, let's go. <laughs> Got it. Gelato Beach might be my favorite with the duckies. That is a fun one. But again, it has the watermelon festival one. So I'm like, ooh. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, the, very few Mario's get my heart pumping like Sunshine does. Shell secret. Any more secrets? Can I leave. 
Can I just leave, please? Sunshine is where my anxiety began. <laughs> Let's go to Gelato Beach, shall we? I've been waiting for you, Mario. Grandpa's at the top as per usual. Take this. I'm good. Whoops. Gelato Beach. All right, where's Gelato Beach again? Where's that damn Gelato Beach? <laughs> We've been here already. Right. I remember where they all are. I had nightmares from the eel. The eel in N64 scared the crap out of me. Mine started with Rugrats PS1 game. If you play that one, your channel will really pop off. Here's Gelato Beach. The Sandbird. Dunebud Sandcastle Secret. Man, I forget that episode one is the secret on this one, huh? Ninja Revive! I do like the soundtrack here quite a bit. All right, red coin challenge, here I come. Don't launch me, Chuckster. It was sliding on wet sand. I don't think it works that way, Nintendo. I think it would just make him sticky. This one. This one's gonna get my anxiety going here too. This is a one and done type beat. If you miss it, it's Jover. Gotta focus up, guys. Gotta perform my absolute best bozo run. Okay. This one's on the corner right quick. It's the last one. Got it. Don't fall off the edge. Yeah, you have to do these levels twice. Once in their original form and then again with Flood to get the red coins. First try. Let's go. Can you please go Hera's, the stupid red fish in deep blue? Harass? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> please go harass the stupid red fish in deep blue? What, in the Noki Bay one? Is that what you're asking me to do? go 100 coin one of these I think we got most of the secrets I guess we'll go do the secret in um, the hotel and we have to do the chuckster one eventually maybe I'll try it again come on we'll try it again come later come on come on come on come on come on hey come on 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 gelato beach in the reef come on come on come on Oh, I know what you're asking. Yeah, I'll go do that. Why? You just want to see it? I'll go do it in a little bit. Sorry. Secret of Casino Delfino. Hotel Lobby. So there's two secrets. One of them is a boss battle, I think.
guys talking about curling hair? What the heck is going on? I'm trying to stay up to date with the chat, but when y'all are going back and forth with the curling tips, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just uh, excuse myself from this. Mason's like, this is a private conversation. You can stay out of it. Stay out of this conversation. See, there you go. Tell us full of ghosts. Maybe you can get your brother to get the poltergust and Professor E get it for us. Oh, there it is. There's the secret in the booze mouth. All right, another sand one. I have no hair. Sorry, ladies, can't help. W bald king. The red switch. I can't wall jump off that? Oh yeah, I can. I swears. Okay. This is gonna be a tough one. I can already tell. Good luck. There they all are. And I missed. And I missed. Oh god. Hell backtracking. Jack and backtracker, Daxter. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> How did I save that? Thought there might be one down there. Had to check. Any other over here? Slide off, Bowser. Where's the last one? Oh no, I missed it somewhere along the way. Oh, where was it? Oh no. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I thought that was going to be such a good run too. I know, and I had that crazy save there too. I know, right? <laughs> it must be down there. On the blocks. Oh my god, it's Jenny from the block. It's Jover. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Be there somewhere. That was a crazy save, too. That would have been so money. I'll tell you what. And I'm not saying this to brag, I'm just saying it because it's just a statement of fact. This is the best my Mario platforming on Sunshine has probably ever been today. Alright, didn't have to backtrack for that one. Jump. Alright, that one was a bit easier. Oh. Is it down there? It is. This is the one that I missed. There's one up here though. No! Damn you! Why is it so hard? 
You lack the skill, you bozo. It's going to be a close one, but it's still possible, I think. Alright, wish me luck. 14 seconds. Last one. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. On camera, don't mess me up here. Let's get it. First try. <laughs> oh, my hands are sweaty, dude. This controller is slippery as hell, dude. <laughs> Woo! We did it, though. We're knocking out some of the hardest ones here, I feel like. All right, you wanted me to go to Gelato Beach there, Nick? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't been... I haven't been uh, a good streamer to you lately for as much as you've been supporting me. So let's go... Let's go bother that red fish. All right, that's what you wanted. Are you still here? Oh my god, goat. <laughs> Doing too many kindnesses to me there. Red coins in the coral reef. Is that where you want me to go? Red coins in the coral reef? Go to the first one. Where you wanted me to go to. Just mess with the fish for me. You got it, bro. Just for you. You have been promoted. You are now one of my elite employees. Is the noise gate allowing you guys to hear me tap the A button? Because the, the button clicks and everything and the joystick is so loud on the GameCube. So can you hear me when I'm tapping the A button? I'm just wondering because it's very loud for me. Jet nozzle. If I do you even have that capability in the first episode. I can't hear it. Okay, you, you can probably hear it over on TikTok though. There's no noise gate on TikTok. I don't see any jet nozzle. I probably had to pick a different episode. There's the big jet board. That. For cheer. Mario. Mario. Up on the hill. Up on the roof. Was it over here? Is this was where it was? Yep, that's where it was. I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't bring it up. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, just, I mean, no, it's fine. I, I personally kind of like it. <laughs> like, whenever I bring my GameCube controller to play Smash Brothers with my cousin, they're like, damn, you're really sweaty now, aren't you? Like, I can hear your controller from the other room, and I'm like, that's just the GameCube controller. It's just especially loud. <laughs> no matter how lightly you press the buttons. <laughs> oh, you out, you out, Connor? Yeah, dude. Well, I hope you get a good night's rest. Thanks again for joining us. W support. I really appreciate you being here, dude. It's always good to have you for real on guard. 
any tips on the watermelon level just have patience i have no tips other than just be patient that is easily one of the most frustrating levels of the entire game so just know that it's not you it's the game you know there's a blue a blue boy over here oh two blue boys am i seeing that correctly there's two blue boys You're getting coffee? Um, well, it depends. Are you getting hot coffee? Are you getting iced coffee? Do you usually drink coffee? What do you like? Um, cause I, I like a, I like a whole lot of different coffees. Um, but yeah, my usually go-to is black, medium or light roast black. Unless you want it just for flavor, then go dark roast. But if you need that caffeine boost, you gotta go light. Light has the highest co uh, caffeine content but probably tastes the worst, and medium is like a little bit of both. Tastes good and gives you a good caffeine boost. Ice caramel macchiato from like uh, Starbucks. Yeah, because the macchiato actually, I hate to be an um actually guy about this, but an actual macchiato isn't what Starbucks sells as a macchiato. Um, but the, I have tried the ice caramel macchiatos. They are really good. They're basically coffee milkshakes. I just want to see if fly by on the reddish. I don't remember the jet boat nozzle is. All right. Don't worry, I'll go. But since we're here, I got to grab these blue coins. Getting these blue birds, though, is seriously so tough. Getting car sick. The blue coin over there we can grab. Oh, I need the red hover nozzle to get it. Dang. Light caught. So you want, yeah. If you want, if you want a caffeine boost, get a light roast. But black coffee isn't for everybody. It's very bitter. You're gonna have to enjoy a bitter taste. Uh, actually, you've never bit it up, actually, guy. Okay. I need to come back when I can use the hover nozzles. So, there, is there a red fish there, or do I have to come back in a different level to get it? There's a blue coin right there. Oh, take it easy, Haley. I hope you enjoyed the, uh... hope you enjoyed the stream of Mario Sunshine. I remember you saying that you are excited for it, so... Hope I delivered. Come on. So annoying. Different episode? Yeah, probably. I'll go. Oh, there's the red fish. This is the one you're talking about, right? Americano. Yeah, Americano. Good. You know what I usually go for? I just go for like a triple espresso on ice if I'm going to drink espresso. <laughs> I don't even F with the hot water. Americanos are mid. See, I thought I liked Americanos, and then if you go to the UK, they don't really drink any sort of, like, just regular brewed coffee there. They drink all espresso-based drinks. So I drank so many Americanos in the UK, and I was, like, really craving just a regular brewed coffee at that point. So, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Americanos anymore. We're fighting now. <laughs> I always do cold brew. Starbucks, it's closed. I'm at 7-Eleven getting a light roasted coffee. Dude, 7-Eleven actually has pretty surprisingly good coffee. I'm not even going to lie. I like 7-Eleven coffee. As long as it hasn't been sitting in the, in the pot all day. Yeah, I like Dunkin' over Starbucks, too, especially just, like, regular, um... I don't like Starbucks drip coffee. If ever I'm going to Starbucks, I usually just get the espresso on ice or, yeah, like a specialty drink. Like a caramel macchiato. 
can't toy with him without the jet nozzle. Okay, I'll come back with a. We'll go to a different episode and get the jet nozzle just for you, honey baby. Alright, maybe one of the later episodes we can do it. Yeah, I don't really F with Starbucks either, but sometimes it's the only option. Shadow Barrio after red coins. This has got to have it. Coffee is not my cup of tea. <laughs> I get what you did there. All right. Jet nozzle around cheer. Damn, dude, I can't even get the big hover nozzle. I get the jet nozzle. Which episode? Usually it's like over here somewhere. Yeah, Dutch Bros is way better than Starbucks. I really like um, Pete's coffee and I like uh, coffee bean. I like those a lot better than Starbucks as well. Oh, there's the jet nozzle. There you go. I knew it. I knew it. Alright, redfish. I gotta mess with them with the jet nozzle, you say? messed with me. What do you want me to do with him? Is this what you wanted me to do, Nick? Oh yeah, no, I think Mexican food is better in Arizona than it is in California, that's true. California has a specific style that I really like, but my favorite Mexican food that I've had is in Arizona. I completely agree with that, Rachel. Make him chase you, then skirt. I used to cry in laughter. Okay. Let me grab this blue coin by swinging on the swang real fast. Turn on Jack Tuesday, Jack Quaid. Beware. Okay, well, just so you know, we're playing Jack 3 tomorrow, and then when I finish it, I'm moving on to Sly 3. Just so you know, so if you come in late, and I'm playing Sly 3, and you get mad, it's not my fault. Uh, so there's this place, there's this food truck we go to all the time, Doughboy, called Marisco's Jalisco's, and it's got some of the best seafood Mexican food I've ever had. It's so good. They have marlin tacos. They have shrimp tacos. They got this ceviche that was making me salivate just thinking about it. I'll let it slide this time. Hey, chase me, bro. That I'm gonna skirt, skirt. Chase me, bro. Chase me, bro. That I'm gonna skirt. I'm gonna skibbity toilet. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. That's what you used to do? That's what you used to get yucks out of? Okay, I did it. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't ever say I did nothing for you. Oh, blue coin. You like custard filled donuts, huh? Ooh, an aristocrat. Seafood or Morisco's or Jalisco specialty. Yeah, dude, so good. Don't cry, okay? Sly just better. <laughs> you, I thought you said you like Jack better after watching my streams. Man, we can't pin Tyler down on anything. He's always waffling. Man, 
in here. Okay. I've heard good things about Dunn Brothers. Is it similar? I love Ross from Dutch Bros. Oh, I love milkshake. Asking good questions. Yes, <laughs> Randizzi's always good. talking about food. <laughs> I'm eating good today, pops. Hey, pops, today I wasn't eating good. That's the that's the day that I rage. When he joins up, it says, pops, I didn't eat good today. And I go, what? And I rip my shirt off like the Incredible Hulk. I said, somebody better make Brandeezy eat good right now. Yes, you converted me. Sly better for real. <laughs> Why do we gotta compare goats, okay? They're both great, all right? I just relived the sixth year of my life, thank you. <laughs> glad, glad I can help with the Nostalgia Bait channel, bruh. It's always a fun time playing Mario Sunshine. Sunshine, lollipopin, rainbows and happy things. Okay, 100, we should do the 100 coin stars on the different worlds now. I feel like we've done most of the secrets except the Chuckster one. Should I try the Chuckster one again? No, I don't even want to do it right now. We'll try it next time. That thing frustrates the hell out of me. Um, what is the best level? Which episode is the best one to do the hundred coins? Episode eight on Gelato is the best for the hundred coins. Let's go do that. <laughs> we need to get one of those emergency boxes on the wall. Break in case of pasta and pizza deprivation. <laughs> yeah, do you know how many calories a black coffee is? Zero. But too much caffeine in anything can also be bad for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Britag Movies and Gaming. All right. You got a lot of follows today for Mario Sunshine. Uh, I think we might continue some Mario Sunshine grind next uh, Mario Monday. Or we'll flip back and forth between Odyssey and Sunshine, because I was really enjoying Odyssey, too. Mods will allocate our funds into the annual budget. W mods, a guard. Can I go get that red hover nozzle yet? When can I unlock the red hover nozzle? What the heck? Oh my god. I like nitro brew cold as well. Although I do prefer my coffee with a little bit of ice and nitro brew is supposed to be served without ice. I will say. Sometimes Sometimes I like just a regular iced latte. The only time I really like cream in my coffee is when it's iced. Sometimes I like just a nice um, iced latte with almond milk. Are you winning, Unk? He called me Unk, guys, just like King. He must be a young blood. Although according to according to King, you could be Unk at age 19 because that is old AF. Oat milk, yeah. Sarah goes back and forth between almond and oak. I like oak, but I still think I like almond best. Even, you know what? I'm so converted to almond milk. I'll even eat cereal. I prefer cereal with almond milk now, which I know is, yeah, blasphemy to a lot of people, but just the way it turned out. I can't really drink regular milk anymore. It feels too, I don't know. I've never been a huge milk drinker in general. But nowadays, especially since I've been just drinking mostly almond. Hard to go back. God, I love milk. <laughs> if I were to drink milk, I like 2% probably best. But nah, I'm not, I'm not huge on milk. I'm big on cheese. As far as dairy products go, I Fs with cheese the most. Like cream and milk? Not really. <gasps> he was so close. Thank you so much. I think these blue boys are always a pain in my ace. 
<laughs> Thank you for the follow, Griff. I'm just playing. I'm, I don't speed run. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Me speed run a game? Nah. Couldn't be me, bro. We're just fringing our way up. Speedrun techniques are pretty crazy for Mario Sunshine. I've seen a lot of the glitches and stuff. This game is such a classic. It is really fun. It always feels insurmountable though to me. Every like I've hundred percent of this game like at least like a half a dozen times, but each time I decide to do it, it always feels like, oh god, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Any more blue coins? How many blue coins are we at? Can't even check. Well, so there's eight more blue coins. Get away from me! Where else can I get a blue coin? It's just more spray paint on the walls. We could just fringe our way up to a hundred coins now. Oh, I'm out of water. Yeah, because once you commit, you have to follow through. No, it's true. And every time I've committed to 100%ing Mario Sunshine, I go, what have I done? <laughs> this is probably the only Mar 3D Mario game I would say you don't have, you shouldn't 100%. Like, you should just so you can, like, be a PTSD war veteran like the rest of us who have. But other than that, I think every Mar 3D Mario is meant to be 100%ed except this one. <laughs> this one is such a headache to 100%. Alright, where else can I get these coins? Just a lot of these guys. Okay ground pound these guys and get coins oh, one per I guess I don't have to ground pound them I could just jump on them They made some levels ridiculously easy and others impossibly difficult. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What I've said ad nauseum every time I stream Mario Sunshine or talk about it is that the highs in Mario Sunshine are extremely high and the lows are extremely low. <laughs> I mean, she's all right, I guess. Are we making sourdough? I'm making bread. Hello, Alex. Oh, come on! Dude, fringing our way up to 100 coins in this one. I don't know, man. I don't know. over there. AC is such a queen. True, Rachel, true. I get up here. Got to walk, huh? Dang. This is where you get a lot of the coins. Don't fall, Mario. <laughs> Blue coin. 
And there it is. And there it is. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop it. You're making me laugh, and I'm trying to collect this coin. Stop. Fry. Fry guy, please don't. Fry and be, please. You're making me laugh too much. So easy to slip through the palm leaves. You had your warning. I told you I was going to make you fart, brother. Couldn't you have used the rocket nozzle? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let me just have some fun, Joshua Carroll. Come on now. Let me just do it the way I'm going to do it. The bozo way, okay? We ain't speed running. We got him. Ain't nothing but a thing. I got to get Thank coins so from much. all these pina things. What are these called? I don't even remember. Yo, thank you for the follow, Joshua Carroll. <laughs> Couldn't you have just used the rocket nozzle? Made it easy on yourself? Probably. Sounds about right. Me choosing the less efficient way? Doesn't sound like me. Alright, some coins in the coral reef, I think, too. Some coins in some of these sand pillars. They're just weird ducks. <laughs> They're launch pad McQuacks is what I call them. This is why I can't 100% at my patience level is zero. No, that's what I'm saying. Mario Sunshine requires a hell of a lot of patience. <laughs> Galaxy 2 goaded, for real. On guard with the sauce. Oh, there's some coins right there. And there's a blue coin I missed, too. Coins in the school of fish. I think there's only, like, some blue coins that we already got in the school of fish, but we'll see. Go get the rocket nozzle just so I can get around in the water a bit faster. Why you mute me, Unc? Because you said you like boob milk. If you must know... No way you said on guard with the sauce with a straight face. Uh, are you new to this channel? <laughs> you must be new here. Chat, tell him. Hey, Aries. My day's going great, dude. How's your day going? Chat, tell them how cornball we get here. Another oh, blue one. Because when we were talking about what milk we like, he said he liked boob milk, so I muted him. And the fact that he has to ask why is making me lose confidence in him. I only muted so you could redeem yourself, but if you don't want to play nice, we don't, we don't have to have this conversation. How about that? How about that? You're gonna make me be play teacher. I'm gonna do it, but I don't wanna. I wanna have fun with the rest of y'all. Sometimes you wild out too much. On guard with the gravy. Go to with the gravy. No, see, these guys don't have coins. They had blue coins, but we already got those. I mean, you gotta establish boundaries. Otherwise, they'll ride, ride roughshod on you. Just like children. <laughs> don't we don't w in the chat for me stop telling people to put w's in the chat for me i appreciate it tyler but we don't do that here we only put l's in the chat and we count my deaths and we say wow i can't believe how many deaths he got that's crazy couldn't be me i'm every time i go on tiktok nobody's as good as as i am at games what the hell 
That's what you got to say. Get with the vibe, dude. Get with the vibe. <laughs> Put a W in the chat sarcastically. <laughs> Why'd you got to do me dirty like that? Yikes. Okay, I just want my regular noozle back. Dude, we're two coins away from 69. Where can I get more coins? So we have to say all that. Yes, in order to stay here, you have to say all of that. You have to be a conformist here at the Pop and Loch Ness broadcast, okay? No individual individuality, all right? Pops, what the hell's up with that shirt? Doesn't match. Like, what's going on here, bro? Your hair looks horrible today. Fix it. See, there you go. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Hi, right, George. I think he's got it. Write a 10 page entrance essay in MLA format due Friday. And if you put it in APA, I rage. Okay? On guard, on guard with the gravy, goaded with the gravy, on guard. For real. Break the melons. Do the melons? Melons have. In them? I'm willing to believe you. Break the melons. I need one of these duck boys to launch it in the air and break it. They launched this melon. See, when I want them to launch it, it takes forever. There we go. One coin. Sons of bitches. I'm not going to be able to get it. It's going to disappear. Yeah, it disappeared. <laughs> Sons of bitches, I hate you. And if I die, oh my gosh, it's Jover. I'm stealing your melon, lady. Oh wow, these melons are... can't even move them. Damn, I'm low on health. Launch that melon, it's right there. What are you doing? Oh, you launched okay. What what is even going on right now? What is even happening? Alright, one coin away from 69, baby. I already got all the coins out of the red things. It's over for him, except maybe this one. Yeah, I got that one. We already got all the coins out of the red boys. Launch this melon for me, you hoser. Yeah, this is a great game, Nomeka. Come on, get up. Quit napping on the job. Game's busted. So I can probably just farm endless coins out of these watermelons, right? No? Or is that because I missed that coin last time? Launch it. <gasps> I can just farm endless coins out of this. Oh, easy peas. Quit napping like you didn't just beat him into the ground. Quit your napping. I'll quit my yapping. Never. Chad, is this guy kind of good at games or no? you've spent any time in my stream, you know I am terrible at games. Come on now. You should know this. We can just fringe our way up this way. Did you see how the charted he got so many deaths? The death counter was so high, I was so embarrassed for him. Really go. casual. Too cash. Yeah, dude. W gameplay right here. Good job, Nintendo. Fringing our way up to 100 coins doing it this way. At least, I, at least it is endless coins. Wonder why they didn't do a sequel to this. They really should have. They really should have. Yeah, the people who love Sunshine really do love it. Out of the way, that's my coin, hoodies. I need to get more water. Keep doing this. Fun stuff, right, guys? <laughs> Bro is way too casual. Ten years later. 
I mean, if you know of any other coins, I feel like I got them all except for these ones, so... I guess I could get Yoshi and eat some of those bees. What's that coin? Ah! Yes. <gasps> Perfect. Perfect. Launch it for me. Launch it. Launch it. Fine. This is so lame. I theorize that Nintendo doesn't really want our money. I would explain a lot. Take the small melons to the juicer, they'll give you coins. Ah, maybe we'll go do that. Rolling it onto the dock is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> we'll try it anyway, just for funsies. And I didn't even get a coin for smashing it up against the tree. <laughs> Can't stop grinning watching this. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Nick. This is annoying as hell. I have to get Yoshi for this. No coin. Okay, we've exhausted all of our free coins from this watermelon. This way. Can't see. Now you're right, you pop them enough, they won't give you any. That's true, but we got them all. We got as many as we could out of the watermelons, at least. Keep pushing these things. I don't see how many coins you'll give me for this little boy. Dude! Luckily, we don't have to do this actual shine sprite again. The big watermelon. That thing is annoying as hell. Push it off the edge, you dingus. Guys, I'm edging again. Edging with the water ballad. Hey, yo! There's no right being as difficult as it is. What do you give me for it? That's too small. I guess I'll have to choose. Oh, 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 you just gotta spread them out? You jerk. Make me work for it. Oh, okay. Well, we got a couple. What a jerk. Just pay me, dude. Don't just throw it out there. Come on now. <laughs> All right, we need 15 more. There's got to be a quicker and better way. Maybe I'll go feed Yoshi. What do you need, Yoshi, my boy? Pops, this light roast is really good. Thank you for putting me on, Sarah. I'm glad you enjoy it. Most people don't like light roast. But it will give you the caffeine boost you so desire. I tell you what. Where is the Yoshi? Get 
be over here. Where's he at? I forgot. Is Yoshi even in this one? He's gotta be. Perhaps guess what I ate today. I swore the Yoshi egg was at the very beginning. Sorry if someone asked, but how would you rate this game? Solid 8 out of 10. This is, this is, as much as I poop on it, <laughs> I really do love Mario Sunshine. It's, it's one of my favorites. But yeah, just like, playing the game regular style, I think, meaning like, just getting a couple of the Shine Sprites, not 100%ing it, is always a fun time. But 100%ing it, that's a whole other beast. I don't recommend it to everybody. <laughs> but no, I love Mario Sunshine. I love the vibes, love the feels, I love Flood. It's Mario at the end of the day. It's tough to beat. <laughs> Figure you'd love a game trying 100%. Yeah, I mean, I've always said that m pretty much every Mario game is designed to 100%. Like, I'm not a completionist, but Mario is one of those rare cases where it's like Mario's meant to be completed. And this is the only one where I'm like, eh, you don't need 100% this one to have fun with it. In fact, <laughs> you'll probably have the most fun not 100%ing it. Oh, there's a bunch of coins right there. This is probably easier with the rocket nozzle, but we'll try it with the hover just for funsies. Oh, there's a bunch of coins right there, too. Coop, 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 coop. Man, I'm almost out of water. Oh, bunch of coins. Oh, I see what it wants me to do. It wants me to use the rocket nozzle from up there to try to get all the rest of those, and then we can get, get our 100 coins. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. The music is S tier. No, it's true. If you're gonna have to listen to a, a song over and over and over again, Mario usually has the best jams for that. Cuphead is a close contender though. Yeah, let's get our way up there. Oh, did you see that? It wasn't intentional, but it worked out quite well. All right, blue coin right there. Damn it. Damn. Yeah, this is tough. Okay. Try it again. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, 15 more coins is all we need. Damn it. I'm just trying to land on the damn line. So frustrating. Did you do the high jump again? You go do the back jump like that. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they don't they don't give you the crouch jumps in this one so you have to get really good with the back jump which they do make it easier to do in this one than any other one odyssey it's pretty easy to do too okay there we go there we go Yes! Finally. Ooh. Ooh. 
There we go. All right, only a couple more. And then it wants you to use the jet nozzle, not this one, to get these ones. Oh my god. Come on. One, two. Start charging now. Come on, bro. Nah! Alright, let's try it with the jet nozzle, I guess. Darn. It's so tough. Alright, ten more coins. I remember as a kid, I never paid attention to the shadow below you in a platformer. Yeah, it's so important. But it's also tough to do, like, it, that's also very tough to do in this game because the camera rarely ever lets you look down. You know? Come on, coin. There you go. My son is obsessed with this gameplay right now. He keeps quacking at the ducks. Oh, that's so cute. All right. That'd be a simpler way to get these last 11 coins. There's gotta be a better way. Uh, I'm stuck with this thing. Thing, this is just frustrating. You know where anybody know where Yoshi is? I guess he's not in this episode. that jet nozzle where is it over here somewhere isn't it there it is part is tough all right wish me luck you need it almost jumped off Tough. How am I supposed to get up there with the rocket? I don't even know, bro. I guess if I jump off the pole. My my patience is wearing thin with this level, I swear, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on. Literally only eleven coins left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I get coins from just spraying the regular birds. Gotta be a better way. You have the patience of a saint, to be honest. I know, dude. That's what this is what I mean by 100%. Like you gotta really like you gotta really like Mario Sunshine, 100% it, because it's a lot of this stuff. If you're not a speedrunner, I don't even know how the speedrunners 100% this stuff. Glitch your way through it, I guess. Most speedrunners. Don't hurt me, B. Alright, try this again. Alright, so if I jump, if I jump at a distance, I can probably wall jump off of this pole. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I'm doing great, Kens. How are you doing? I saw you in Alyssa's stream earlier. I hope you had a good time. A little Skyward Sword action. And 
Jones is here. I can't believe that still hurts me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hundred coins. I already. Here they come. I already got a bunch of the uh, coins from. All the coins I could get. Oh, there, yes, yes, I can get coins from just spraying at the birds. Oh my goodness. This might be our way to fringe our way up. Coins. I guess not all the birds yield coins. Some of them do, though. Only nine more. My house is Slytherin, baby. Slytherin. But I'm like a Snape Slytherin, right? Or a Ginny Potter Slytherin. I'm not like a Malfoy Slytherin. Like, pure, pure bloods. Those supremacists. Pure blood supremacists. That's not me. Come on, bro, please. No! <laughs> Dude, the physics are so wonky, I swear. I can't right now. I can't even. I can still break the big melon. I guess I could just get nine coins by doing that. Nope. It's, oh yeah, break the big melon. That's right, that's right, that's right. You right, you right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I already got coins from the, I already gave to the watermelon festival. Oh, and they paid me in coins, but they scattered them everywhere. You just blowing from stupid down? Yes, I am quite stupid if you must if you must know. In case you couldn't tell from watching me. Oh yes, I am quite stupid. Break. 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 Get up! No! Where'd it go? Oh, it's still there! <laughs> oh wow! I never even considered that strategy. Just launching it all the way there. I was always afraid of it breaking. <laughs> That's funny. Go ahead and break it, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. You won't. Oh, you won't. You're too chicken. You're too scared. Break it. Come on, break it. What the heck? When, when I don't want you to break it, you guys... Or breaking it like nobody's business, but now when I do want you to break it, you're like, yeah, no, not interested, thanks. There we go, 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 there we go. break it. Only one coin, no, I thought there'd be many. <laughs> you sons of bitches, this is the worst, dude. <laughs> Fringing your way up to 100 coins on this level is literally the worst. Yikes. Thank you I'll so give much. you a hundred coins to never try getting a hundred coins on this level ever again. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. The hundred percent grind is real, dude. Thank you for the follow, Dara. I did turn the small melons in both for coins. I've done it, dude. I've done it. Trust. This, you know what? In Mario 64, I always considered the little big planet one, you know, one where it's like, you know, enemies are small and large, depending on which pipe you go in. That's one of the harder levels to fringe your way up to 100 coins on, and that's what this level is for me right now. Oh my goodness. Break it. Breaker 1-9, please. Don't even. Don't even. 
hate that these guys take my health. Yes, 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 yes. One coin, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, seven more. <laughs> if I had Yoshi, I could eat these bees and they would give me coins. Wake up! Blue boy, huh? Don't see many blue boys around, cheer. Coin? Oh, blue coin! Okay, still seven more. I wish that the blue coins counted towards your coin count. Oh, didn't get that guy. Maybe some of these guys have respawned their coins. Mm, maybe it was just that one I didn't get. I think I got them all, though. This is the worst, bro. <laughs> this is literally the worst. Anymore? I think I got all these guys. I'll try it anyway. I'm so desperate. This level sucked. I refuse to go through it when I play Mario 64. <laughs> Did you miss some coins by the last blue coin you got? You mean where the blue duck guy is? Possibly. It's possible. Give me some coins up here. Yes. That melon will give you coins. Go turn it in. Yeah, I've already turned them in. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, is there a blue coin right there underneath the... Nope. If I turn in the big one, it'll give me a shine sprite, which I already have earned. See what I'm saying? But I, I suppose I could turn in the smaller one for some coins. I'm desperate now. Let's just go try it. Stop launching me, dude. Fuse. Nothing. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. <sighs> It's another day at Gelato Beach. Can I spray down the bee's nest? Uh, try. This son of a bitch is in my way. Dude, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna die before I get the hundred coins. It's gonna be the fattest L ever. No, I'm so tired of y'all. This is the worst. All right, I guess I'll just try to take the watermelon. The judge. Oh, I gotta press the right button. Go this way. Brother, this guy stinks! I'm in agreement with you on that one. The worst. Won't put it in the water, dingus. Okay, now we gotta be extra careful now that I've gotten it all the way over here. so happy when we're done with this. Chat, don't even with me right now. Oh, 
Yeah, we got the green parrots at the top. Thank you for the tip. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! If he launches all those coins out and I don't pick them all up just enough to get where I need to be, I'm a, I'm a Rage. You'll see me Rage for the first time on this stream. <laughs> It's not bad, but not great either. Need bigger than that, you dingus. One. Dude, F that shine spray, dude. F that. That was the worst. That was literally the worst. I never wanted to do that again. That was worse than the actual, like, getting the watermelon to the festival. The big watermelon. That was worse than the main shine sprite. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're welcome. I kind of know what I'm talking about. No big deal. <laughs> Lisana Gaib, it is written that she would know to turn the watermelon in for the hundred coins. Never do that again, respectfully. I know, dude. Trust me, I know. <laughs> that sucked <laughs> um all right what's next should we go do the chuckster level or what 40 years old and i do not need this i never want to do that again chuckster levels that way we've already done the secrets here all right let's figure out where we're going so we need to get 100 coins in pina park serena beach noki bay Yanta Village. Where's Serena Beach again? Oh, that's... That's Serena. Is that where we just were? No, we were at Gelato. We were at Gelato Beach. How do we get to Serena Beach? Oh, we were just right next to it the best way to get a hundred coins on Serena Beach. Episode four. All right, hundred coins again. Yikes, my dudes. No, we're not going to do the Chuckster level. I don't think I'm going to do that again until next stream. That one pisses me off too much. All right, there's probably some easy coins around here. Oh, that's just water. No coins inside these barrels. It's all... Oh, there's a blue coin right there. I knew it. I knew it. Luigi saves Mario in Luigi's Mansion. Doesn't take Luigi on this vacation. I know, it's so messed up, bro. It is so messed up. He's like, boy, howdy, that was tough getting kidnapped by King Boo. We should go on a vacation, you be toted peach. Luigi is like, aw, bro. Yikes. It's true, you ain't wrong. Luigi got done dirty yet again. Oh, there's the blue coin. The Chuckster. Well, you just got to line it up. The last, like, I was complaining about the Chucksters and the regular Chuckster level. I actually did, like, first try. I'm not saying to brag. I'm just saying sometimes it, it just works that way. I was trying to do the eight red coins with the Chucksters, and that one's a real pain because you're timed. And sometimes you have to wait for the Chucksters to, like, slowly walk into position to throw you. Spray the windows? You got it, dude. Coin? No. Coin? Take that. Coin? Oh. 
Should spray the windows, right? Different windows. Oh! Spray the torches. Get some coinage here. Aha! Aha! I knew it! I knew it. We have that. Okay. Sorry, bro. Try to get some coinage. Spray these windows? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Under, easiest place to get is at the casino. Isn't that where I'm on? The casino secret? You should drop by the casino! That's a lot of nuts! Seen us through the, those doors. But let's just grab as many as we can, right? Cheer, because they're super easy. I didn't even hear about this Diddy stuff until recently. That's crazy. Damn it, what didn't Diddy do? Probably some of the turlets here. Nope. Let's go to the casino, I guess. Should I plunder the hotel anymore? Should just go to the casino. Oh, some coins here. <laughs> Tupac. in here for sure. Yeah, this is probably my least favorite level in all of Sunshine as well. Tupac. Especially with this wonky camera, you know what I'm saying? Come on! This is much easier than Gelato Beach, I tell you what. Leave it. All right, yeah, we're fringing our way up. We'll get that, get that shine sprite in no time. Tell you what. Okay, got them all. Let's go to the casino. This is the way to the casino. Right this way, please. Yo, thank you for the crowns, Nick, as well. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. Sorry if I didn't thank you earlier when you when you gifted them. Appreciate all your support over here on uh, TikTok. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Give me the money. What did I get? Nothing? Okay, I guess I just want coins. What? Oh no, I ruined my chances. Okay, we'll just do coins for this one, I guess. Whoopsie doodles. Oh, 
three coins. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I just got to do that every time. Uh oh. Does ghost ever go away? House always wins. True. Oh no. Oh no, another another match game. What did it did it do? Ooh, blue coin for me. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Another blue coin in this fountain, maybe? Mayhaps? No, just in the other one. Okay. Alright, where do I get these coins now? I gotta go play this one. Might have to do it over. What? What? I what the whole level? Found other slot machines. Jeez, please. Well, that worked. There's a ghost right there. I say whoopsie doodles because of you now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Whoopsie doodles. That's pretty funny, Rachel. <laughs> whoopsie doodles. 69 coins though. W's in the chat for 69 coins. You know what I'm saying? This is just to get to the final boss. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Leave the casino. No, being stuck on 69 coins. Not bad. Not bad. Am I stuck? Can I go back? Where's the pit boss? I can't leave, dude. I'm stuck here now. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Chat, do I have to do this all over again? Did I mess up my chances of getting a hundred coins? Maybe, yeah. Oh, cool. If that's the case, I'm, I'm not even gonna continue. That's crazy. Get away from me. I swear, dude. Get away from me. Yes. Lovely. I love that. 69 coins and I gotta start all over. Yo, forget this, dude. I'm freaking done. We had a fun time today. It was a good time for the most part until we started fringing our way up to 100 coins shine sprites. I'm done, though. That's that's so lame. I'm taking the L. I'm taking the L, okay? I took the L. What do you want from me? Take my blood. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. 
fun Mario Monday. Really appreciate you guys being here. We'll be back tomorrow, Jack Tuesday, playing Jack 3, and I'm gonna I'm at the end, so we're gonna finish that. And then we're gonna finish Sly 3 as well, so it's gonna be a double feature tomorrow, Jack 3 and Sly 3. Hope you can pull through, hope you can make it, hope it's a fun, good time. Hope you had a fun time today. It was mostly a good time. <laughs> Don't leave, I have to, dude. Uh, especially if I'm gonna have a long stream tomorrow, I have to. I appreciate you though, thank you again. Um, and then Wednesday is Okami, Thursday we're gonna fringe our way back up to 100% on Princess Peach Slay Hour. Nighty night, thank you guys. Um, I'm gonna see if we should raid anybody, if you wouldn't mind sticking around, spreading the love. Um, yeah. See if I can raid. Augment two, can I raid her? I'll try. If you guys wouldn't mind sticking around, this is a great content creator. She's she's huge. Like she's already got a huge following and everything. So take it easy, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stuff to do, mom's visiting.